Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet, and I am live with a special uh, live stream. Uh, I had some breaking news today. For those following uh, online video, movie space, Collider Live, Collider Video has been an integral part. I, for my, I watched a lot. I knew a lot of those guys. Uh, and today, crazy announcement out of the blue. Uh, they announced that they're ending a lot of their live programming, a lot of their weekly programming. Uh, and this wasn't really a shock to me. How it went down was a bit of a shock to me. We'll talk about that. I, I just I have a lot of insight. I, I don't know anything about this or any of my colleagues or any of that stuff, but I'm open to talking about it. And I brought a special guest on to do it with me because I got a big announcement to announce with him. Uh, so stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. I may answer your questions if you send them over. So let's do this. Let's talk about the end, potentially, of Collider Video, which I honestly think this might be the end because I... I well, let me introduce my guest. I don't want to have him on the, on the line too long, but let's uh, let's bring him out. I'm so happy to have him. Guys, you may have seen him on Nerd Wars here. He's got his own channel, and I, I've, he was a supporter of mine early on. I've had his back. He's had mine. I'm so excited. We're going to be working together more. We're going to see him a lot here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Jody of Jody's Corner. What's up, Jody? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. YouTube, was YouTube was good. It's your boy, Jody Joe. Joe. It's so, so good to be good here, to be here, here on, on Popcorn, Popcorn Planet, Planet baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we are. The two guys were back. Uh, look, I love Jody. Jody keeps it real. Jody keeps it honest. Uh, Jody's Corner has been a staple. I've, I've been watching recently, and I've been watching over time, uh, but I love his insight. He doesn't give an S. He will say whatever he wants, uh, and I love that about you, Jody. I love it because I also know you. Thanks, bro. You Thanks, put bro. on a bit of a persona on, the, on your show. Obviously, you get extreme. You have a passion opinions, but I know you got a big heart. You're a smart guy you're you're a really loving guy you know your stuff you're passionate about it and i appreciate that about you so i'm excited to work together we got some news let's just get that out of the way we are going to be doing uh shows together i'm going to be doing a show on his channel he's gonna be doing a show on my channel each week we're going to be dropping in uh nerd wars is a show i brought back and it's a lot of work and i was talking to jody i was like man i wish i just could have a person like you such a good fighter to to war with me once a week uh jody's going to be coming doing that here in the channel we got a spinoff of nerd wars that's coming in the next couple weeks I'm so excited to do that. And then Nerd Wars will be regular every Thursday. I, I forget which day. We'll, we'll be announcing the exact schedule soon. Uh, but you can be sure to see Jody here more doing a weekly Nerd Wars with me. And then, Jody, you want to tell him what we're doing on your channel? Me and, me and Andy, Andy of Popcorn, Popcorn Planet, Planet are teaming, teaming up to give you guys an awesome, awesome debate type, type of topic type show. Of topic show. Yin and, yin and yang, baby. baby. It's, it's coming it's to Jody's, Jody's corner. corner. It's going to be it's gonna fire. Be fire. It's going to be flame. We're taking We're YouTube, taking by, YouTube storm. by storm. By storm With that wave of realness, you guys are going to love it. Yin and yang. Andy, Jody, we got this. Stay tuned. It's coming up. It's going to be great. I'm super excited for it. And you, they're sorry about the echo. I just removed his echo. But, uh, dude, I'm so excited to do this for you, uh, with you, and for you, with you always. Uh, let's talk about this this Thanks, topic, bro. though, because I think we're going to be talking a lot about this. this. is a good experiment for us to start doing a, a topic, a uh, current event topic such as this. Uh, so, guys, if you don't know, let's bring this up actually first. For those that aren't familiar sort of with this news and people in the comments who have been like, what's going on? Uh, we have some insight because they did do a press release uh, about all of this. Uh, so I got it here. Collider video to refocus its direction for a new era of entertainment. Now, uh, let me say before I even read this, I ha I'm not going to name names. Again, don't imply that I'm talking about anybody specific. Otherwise, I can't talk about anything. Uh, but I have been in the camp of writing a press release like this. Uh, this is trying to save face. There's clearly more to it, and I'll break down my thoughts to it. But press releases like this are, are typically uh, just a misdirect, so you don't sort of get frustrated with it. But it's also a way they have to sort of announce it. Uh, but they do it with a positive uh, twist, uh, but this news has not been positive for the bulk of the fans. So let's let's hear their news and see how they spun it. Our video production side has been putting out terrific content for years, uh, but we just uh, as we begin 2020, that video content will be moving on to an exciting new direction. Today, our video production will be focused towards expanding high-quality, scripted, unscripted, and celebrity-driven content. This means more emphasis on popular series like comic book shopping, I'll be honest, I don't even know which one that is. Uh, and Deep Fake Saga, I've seen those and they annoy me, even though I, I, my, a friend of mine, Josh Robert Thompson, does the George Lucas. He's fantastic. I just don't like the format. Um, we have to say goodbye to some beloved series. We will be ceasing production on Movie Talk, Collider Live, oh. Jedi oh. Council, and Heroes. And we cannot oh. begin to express the depth of our gratitude to our loyal fans oh. and to those who work tirelessly on these productions. We are wow. incredibly excited about the future of our video content, and we can't wait to share our next chapter with you. Here's the full press release of the changes coming. Uh, and then they sort of repeat themselves and talk about, basically, it's the same thing. Uh, so there, let's get to it, Jody. So first of all, from an insight of how this works, the shows that they canceled, those are their cheapest shows. That's the channel. That's like the channel. <laughs> it's the That's the whole channel. That's their content. 
Yeah, it's not only, but it's not only their content. It's also like the most inexpensive content. The only reason it's expensive is the talent, and that's that's the sort of the thing I'm gonna un, un, unwrap here because I nobody really wants to talk about salaries uh, and all those people, uh, but I'm happy to do it. I I can pretty guess what a lot of those people are making. I don't want to just name out numbers flat out, but they're getting paid a lot of depend. Well, Collider, I don't know how much they're paying, but I can more speak. than minimum wage. Yes, yes, absolutely. And so, well, it depends. Some of them are on, on contracts. Some of them are coming in on a per day as, basis, right? As right, needed. Right. And that can literally be 150 to 200, 250. We, I, I've paid guests in my past, uh, up to about $200 to show up for a day. A lot of guests came in for free because we I was had on a, that show. Yeah. Yeah. On um, which one? I was on heroes. And did they pay you? I did it for free. So they don't, that, and that's fine. You know, you're getting exposure. <laughs> I was free work, but it was, you know, I did it because I missed with Harloff and Schnepp. They're both gone. So there's absolutely no allegiance from Collider for me. Yeah, well, that's, Collider is that. Collider is, is can't be a started, and then Carlo, and, uh, Harloff and Ellis, yep. and then exactly, John Schnepp. Those have always been the main players of yeah. uh, Collider. Everybody else was sort of the supporting character. It's like Howard Stern leaving and then stuttering John trying to do his own thing. It's like, uh, no offense to some of those guys, but they're just not the anchors, Michael right? Michael Jordan retired and Scotty Pimmons yeah. said, hey guys, what about me? And look, no, no. offense, they're a great so supporting team, but they're not the leaders, right? Um right. And so that's where it came. But talking about salaries, like someone like Harloff, I don't know what he made, but dude was getting a good salary, clearly. He, he, wouldn't, have, there. he yeah. wouldn't have wasted his time donating all his work at Collider if they weren't paying him well. So the question I'm immediately wondering is, did, did Christian know? What do you think? I think he had to have known. I think that his, he's tight with Mark, and I think that Mark kind of gave him wind that, yo, bro, this is about to come to an end anyway. It might, he said it probably told him it might come to an end, combined with the fact that I know Harloff wasn't happy. He wasn't happy at Collider. He wasn't happy being muzzled. He wasn't happy not being able to be himself. And I think it was kind of both ways where Mark was like, yo, can't keep it up. And Harloff was like, yo, can't keep it up. And it was like, boom, it's, he's out of there. And then once Schnepp was gone, that's when everything started to, to tumble into darkness. Yeah, good guy. I mean, I, I, again, I've talked to Harloff. Harloff has finally sort of admitted that we've talked, and it was a weird. I'll be honest. I, I, I've been waiting for Harloff to sort of talk, continue talking, because I'm hoping I could get on that show at some point just to finally spread the news. And so he's kind of silent. He's, he's gone dark on me, and I don't know. But I got no beef with him. I'm just frustrated. I wish someone on that side would have engaged. So he likes I, to keep it at bay. He, I can yeah. Just, I could tell he doesn't like to get into the stuff. You know what I'm saying? He just wants to have his own lane and and be. Ha and I, I get it, but. I wish that he was more aggressive with stuff like this as well. I do too. Yeah, and th I, I wasn't trying to call him out. I'm just, I want to be up front as I no. sort of guess and speculate yeah. on what he's doing. I, I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a little while. I would love I'm to talk to him. him. He's doing his own thing. I think and, his show's and, great. And now more than ever, we could, now more than ever, those conversations between you and Harloff could be had. Totally. And I, and I would love to have them anytime he's ready. If you want me to have those, tell him. I don't know how else to get it to him. I'm not trying to pressure him, but I can plug y'all up, man. If she he doesn't still, want I'll to talk to Harloff. Yeah. yeah. If he doesn't want to do it, I get it. But I, I just, I, I, I think there's still a lot of drama on some of those people and it's a bummer because I'd like to get over, it. but my drama aside, I want to focus on Clutter. I, so I just wanted to out, huge, bro. I wanted like, to get that out because I, I do think, I don't think Harloff, I think Harloff saw the writing on the wall like you did. I think Mark yeah. probably was alluding that who knows, but you also yeah. just have to be able to tell how much things cost and how much revenue you're actually bringing in with your videos and look it wasn't doing that well to have that kind of salary and then the problem is keeping salary keeping the john Andy, i couldn't understand it bro how do they pay everybody how do they pay all those people and how do you pay and not pay half of them like if some of them are free and you're paying let's say you're paying five six seven of them how are you paying them if you look at collider's views the views aren't astounding yeah, so well, like, look, it's is, like Ken, how, so. There's like there's Ken, right? Ken Knapsack was let go, I, apparently, yeah. or something. Yeah. You got Mark Riley, you got Roxy, you got all these people, dude. They're not going to sit there do work for Mark Fernandez for free, and I wouldn't either. Good for they shouldn't. But then when you got all those talents, you got all those egos, you got all of them jealously wondering, well, why is Christian making you so much more? You let go of Ken, who is an honest nerd fanboy of Star Wars, but you kept Roxy, who's a toxic, don't know shit about film person running the show. That's weird to me. Well, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to comment on that necessarily yet. But, but you're, but that point I'm making, it's like Roxy, M Mark, all these people, right? John Roca. How do you sustain their, their egos? Is and I mean, say that in a, in a nice way of like they're worthy. They think they're worthy. They should be out there making more money, doing their own brands. You got to when you bring those people in and they're a part of your staff. You got to keep them on the payroll. And so 
That's what I think is the ultimate demise of what's happening. He can't sustain it. Mark Fernandez, again, all assumptions here, please. I don't want to be sued for anybody trying to say what I like. I know insider info. Uh, I don't, I believe it's too hard to sustain it. And, and there's this always shiny object of we want to do more hot ones. You got to understand this was owned by Complex, right, guys? Complex owned First We Feast, which owned hot ones. Mark Fernandez was a, was a big part of that, right, Jody? You know this too. He was involved mm. in, the, in the Complex world of it. Uh, right, and then he bought you. You actually remind me of this. He bought Collider from them, right? Yes, he went on his own, did his own thing. He used to be the CEO, I believe, of Complex, and they wanted to take his own funds and purchase Collider and separate from Complex. And for the last two years, I believe, has been on his dime, his watch. He was running it. Right. And so, what happens though is when you when you see that and you see how much money a Hot Ones makes, and guys, Hot Ones makes a lot of money. Like no one, no one has any idea how much Hot Ones is actually making because not only are the views doing really well, they can put multiple ads through such a long form content, but those brand deals, getting those celebrities in, they're selling brands on the celebrity hot sauce, bro. You know, people, people, they're sleeping on Hot Ones hot sauce. They're buying that hot sauce. (laughs) But Jody, it's it's bigger than that. I can tell you for a fact. No brand really wants to buy Sean Evans or or Collider, right? But they do want to buy Paul Rudd. They want to buy all those people that are on Hot Ones that are literally coming to promote a movie, but then they're on the show, and then, ooh, I'm T-Mobile. I want to be in a Paul Rudd video. So they can yep. charge a premium price to have a Paul Rudd there. So you guys got to remember, that's really what it's about. Mark Fernandez <laughs> sees Frosty, who runs the editorial over in Collider, getting these celebrity junkets and people in, and nobody's watching them. And I got no disrespect to Frosty, but half of the Collider content is Frosty at Junkets getting talent because he's got those relationships he's been building for years. He gets in every junket. He gets uh, screenings out in L.A. with the Russo brothers and all this stuff, and good on him. But the fact that Collider couldn't figure out how to turn Frosty and his content into better performing stuff in the vein of Hot Ones is, to me, the biggest failure of Collider and Mark Fernandez. So the fact that he's had celebrities in the door with, a, with someone who has that access and hasn't been able to muster more viral hits – Dude just doesn't know what he's doing. That's flat out. Uh, but my point is, I suspect he smells it like I need to make more money. These This talent's going nowhere. We're stagnant. I can't pay all these people. It's not worth it. I need to sort of create more deep fakes and things that are going to be more uh, brand, you know, si- sellable brands that uh, a big T-Mobile or, or whoever it is are going to want to buy. Does that, do, you, do you get what I'm saying, Jody? Your thoughts on that? I understand what you're saying, but at the end of the day, yeah deals, money, creativity, lack of, thereof, all those things are are right. But let me bring a different perspective to the table. At the end of the day, the reason why Collider's shutting all this shit down is very simple to me. They were whack. The realness, <laughs> the realness, their debates, their discussion, it didn't feel real. It didn't feel organic. It felt off. It felt like a job. It didn't feel like a family. They didn't have camaraderie. It didn't feel like they were passionate about the films that they were debating. Each one was afraid to step on the other one's toes. I can't even remember ever seeing a debate on Collider. At the end of the day, it's about the content, and that content was stale as a seven-day-old Dorito out in the open. <laughs> No, you, you put it right in the head, and, it, and it's something actually that it, it felt like a job, right? And that's the difference. And I think, you know, I can speak to my own work when I was at Screen Junkies, like, it did feel like a job for a lot of us. And I think when I left and I put all those people in that position, which, whatever, we, if you, I'm trying not to. I, w- I, I would me. love to talk about that, too, since we're talking about Collider. <laughs> Once we finish talking about the yeah, Collider, well, but I'm saying, I got some Screen Junkies questions to <laughs> sure, ask you, man. Sure, we'll get there. But my point, and I, again, I don't want to tr- start drama. I'm not trying to, I, I, I have no beef. I, I know, but I, my, I, I, my, I, things I, that I want to know, though. All I want to say, though, is I believe the camaraderie increased when they were put under the pressure of having to deal with the aftermath of what happened to me. Does that make sense? I feel like people, there's a tight knit group there who watches that channel now and they and all them are sort of together in this ball. And that's a problem when you're growing a channel because yes, it's a good, they have a good base, but their views are down and you're so stuck with those thousands of people that you're trying to please that you've grown so close to because you're all huddling and like creating this like kumbaya we're together you're ignoring the bigger problem and i had fights with a lot of people because i there were colleagues i'm not going to name up my name but they would constantly be worried about like oh i saw mean comments on this thing we should adjust i'm like dude ignore the live week to week like 
we have a show called Honest Trailers that's crushing it. Like that was always what, the, what was the up. Like we got let's think bigger. Like and that was all, sort of my demise too because I lost it. And I sensed Mark Fernandez. I guess he wants that. He wants more Honest Trailers numbers, big something thing he can claim on because they don't have one. They don't have anything. They're trying to do like a like that type of move without any brands or franchises that can sustain the loss of a Collider Live. And you're right, it's completely stupid. But at the same time, you're right because it was whack. The new Collider Live once everyone started leaving. No offense, it wasn't as good. I'm seeing in the comments. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, you guys are live. Let's start. I see some other uh, comments here as I gather. Jody, I mean, do you do you think? Did you ever watch Deep Fakes? Do you think any of these shows can actually be successful, or do you think this is the end of Collider Video? Here's the thing. I'm going to short answer. This is the end of Collider Video as we know it. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and I'm looking at this list of stuff. They said comic book shopping, deep fake saga. I don't know what the freak a deep fake saga is going to be. But at the end of the day, all they're going to do is make the same mistakes. Yes. Let me talk about comic book shopping is the only thing that possibly has a chance of being something. Because this is why this is he, one of the people who did the comic book shopping was, was, was Schnepp. He used to go into comic books, talk about a book, talk about its history. And that was his thing. That was his personality pushing that show. Who are they going to get to do comic book shopping? Are we going to walk around with Roxy as she goes through a comic book shop talking about comic books that she don't care about? I mean, who is it? Are we going to get that that skinny dude with the dreads and shit and look at him? Or the or how about the guy over there that loves Man of Steel and think it's a masterpiece and doesn't understand film when he works at a film? Who are we going to watch try to sell us on going? Into, why do we want to take a trip to the comic book shop with any of them? I would go with Harloff, but Harloff ain't there. Well, no, it's Schnepp, true. Schnepp it. knew comics. Like, Schnepp was amazing exactly. at that. And that Schnepp was, was a genuine so, talent where you know, like, you he knew when you go to a comic shop, he knew. But I, Right. The comic book shopping is the only thing that could be something. But then again, unless you have a celebrity or a talent, you better go freaking hire a, a, a A-list actor to come and do it every now and then. Besides that, I don't see that working. Jedi Council's gone. Heroes is gone. Collider Live, gone. Movie Talk, gone. That's the backbone of all that channel had. So people are going to be unsubscribing by the flocks. Yeah, well, you uh, know, SCN's gonna b benefit. I hope we will. There's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna benefit, and I don't think they're the only ones. This is just the beginning of the end, and I, I know you don't want to talk about it, but I, I, I do. I want to mention, you know, I think Screen Junkies is gonna take a huge hit too, bro. I think they're next on the chopping block. Uh, honestly, uh, honestly, I don't. I think they're in trouble. Yeah, I mean, look, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, I agree. I think there's no way to sustain the amount of salaries that you have there and deliver yeah. the kind of content with the numbers they have. They're got to gonna be if there aren't absolutely a tough conversation. I mean, it's already started happening. They crushed movies. They killed movie fights. You notice Hal is hardly doing Screen Junkie show. Uh, that's a cost thing. Hal's expensive. Was it expensive to run that show with, to have the talent well, no, come talent, on there, like talent, all them? Again, I don't want to speak. Please don't misread me. I'm not speaking about anybody specific or their salaries. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, talent, talent is expensive, right? Talent costs uh. money, and so the talent is what. If you want to lock talent in on a reoccurring basis, that's hard. You and I are doing it because you know we're giving each other e our time. That's just as the more, even more valuable. But my point is, you know, we're doing it out of a love at each other, and I'm giving you, you're giving me, right? But they, they right. don't want to do that for a corporation. You don't want to do that for fandom, no. you got, or Collider, or Mark Fernandez. You want to do it to be paid. And when you live in LA and you're not living in Florida like me, you really need the dough. The thing I wanted to say though, yeah, you're gonna, there's gonna be a lot. This is gonna open up a lot of ideas. The thing I really worry though is gonna be a lot of e begging. Like you called me out in the beginning. Like when I first started. Like it was all about like, hey guys, super chat me, give money, money, money. I'm thirsty for the I money. I told you about that. And you yep, called yep, me out, and I slowed it down. I slowed it down because I realized I was doing it. But it's it's just the common reflex to sort of be like, I need yeah, you fund me or I can't do it. Uh, yeah. And I that you're gonna see it. I already saw. So do you, what do what do you mean? I already e saw. Begging. Do you mean do you think I that saw, people I saw, that are I went and watched. Will... I went and watched Roxy who did a live stream, and she was immediately already saying, "I'm gonna need money, guys. Send me your stuff." And then she's doing like a live stream talking to her fans, Bruh. explaining shit. So you're gonna see it with all of them, and they're all oh, gonna think Bruh. that they can sustain it. And I, let me tell you all straight, if you're watching, because I'm sure a lot of my haters are watching this just out of fascination. You know what I mean? Uh, it does not pay well. <laughs> like, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> it's so let me not, get this straight. It's not I, sustainable. I make sure that I'm on the real. I'm, I'm on this planet. Roxy <laughs> is going to ask for people to pay to hear her talk. Yes, for sure. I mean, that's what you and I are doing. Let's. I'm going to keep it straight with you. Uh, uh, I mean, it's different between me and you. I mean, we. Are, we, we what the freak are we doing over here? We. I feel like we actually know what we're talking about here, and people actually want to actually hear us. Who have. Uh, br Look, I'll, I look. I, I'm not going to bash Roxy. I, I've publicly called Roxy out because she called me out, and she's a liar. 
She's an absolute liar, and I've privately reached out to her to try and sort that oh. that bridge out, and it so pisses you guys me have off. Some type of situation there. Yeah, she she called me out and said I was inappropriate to her, and she's there, it's just there's no that's, truth. That's to what that. I'm talking about. There's no what truth to do? that the comment, and it her? really did you it, touch her? No, no. Not only did I not touch her, I treated her never, 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 and I treated her with utmost respect. Uh, and it, it really pisses me off because she said that on a, on a whim to sort of get attention on Harloff's show, and then uh, it got picked up on Phil DeFranco's video, which got seen by a million people. And so I still get people who are like, "Oh, well, you were wait, inappropriate wait, wait. to Roxy." Touched, did she say that you? Were she didn't say or anything. Her? She said I was inappropriate. Very inap- that was she was very broad, right? And then as I've tried to privately push, about. it's just BS. If you got, she's such a open book. She's so so. Yeah. Like like tells you how it is, so and it's like that's how we treat each other. And now she's all like, "Nope, not gonna." Like, it's 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 insane. Uh, so I got a beef with her in that regard because I and I'm sort of over her because it's like, dude, you're so fake. You are so there fake. It is. <laughs> I mean, you, you have a personal example. I was just talking about just the little glances that I, I go to Clyder, see what's going on. I hear 15 sentences. I'm out of there. And you got a freaking personal. It makes per- perfect sense, man. That's the problem that I got with her. And I don't care about her. I'm not. I'm just speaking what's on my mind. So yeah, that's the problem with that sheet. Like I, I can't stand it. Look, I, I to say because I want to say something nice, even though I got to be with her. She was great on, on TV fights. She was great as a judge. I supported her because she knew her TV. She literally watched so much TV that I really respected it. And I got have st- put my neck out for her for that show. She was the first judge I put out there. I really believed in her. I thought she was a good voice. I. Did do you I, feel betrayed? Absolutely, especially by her. What she did was really uncalled for. It was really rude and affects my family, everybody. And she knows I didn't do anything inappropriate to her. So, Roxy, if you're watching this, that was really uncalled for. And it's really dangerous when you hurdle words like that. It's not cool. And you owe me an apology for that. Or you at least owe me a decency to privately explain what did I do so I can learn. So I can know, oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I did that. I didn't even realize I did that. But that's it's absolute horse s that she called me out like that. So, that's why I call her fake because it's like, dude, come on. You, she hit me out when it was cool to hit me out, and now people yep. don't want to publicly bash me as much because I'm yep. gonna respond. Uh, when I wasn't responding, it was a lot easier to hit me, right? Uh, but I, look, I don't. I, again, we'll go there. I, I wanted, I wanted to share a couple things. Well, actually, can I just read? Uh, there's so many comments. Thank you guys for that. track. Let's do it. Yeah. Do Let me read do. a couple comments real quick. Just got paid. I got five dollars on it. Just showing love, and I'm gonna drop five on Jody's channel as well. Y'all entertain us. You need to show support. Thank you. Now we got to get to the people who are supporting Echo Base Network. Thanks for recording the documentary the way we edited. It's super cool. Jody, you are on our documentary as well. And a very funny part. Yeah. Echo Base doing like a big Star Wars. Did you do it too? You got to, you put something in there? No, I know. have no idea. I guess he pulled one of your clips, uh, but they're doing some Star Wars documentary. He reached out and I gave him a clip on my thoughts on the sequel trilogy. Uh, okay. I got, and then, uh, so thank you, you. That's coming soon. I'll plug it on uh, when it's ready. Deep fakes was fun. This comes from Third Man 3. Third Man 3 also had a funny comment in the beginning, but he lost it. He, he made something funny. Th- sorry, I lost it. Third Man 3, though, thank you for that. Uh, deep fakes were fun at first, but those gags get old very quickly. To be honest, its humor wasn't that great, uh, and it's not good enough to be profitable uh, or profitable given cost. I, I agree. I, look, I love love Josh Robert Thompson. Go support him. Brilliant. He does a George Lucas. He did a whole pilot as George Lucas. Dude's funny. He's amazing. I love him. I'm glad they're throwing him work, uh, but that's not a sustainable show. It's not a sustainable show. That was show. tight. That was tight. That CG face thing, right? Yeah. It, it was a cool, was funny dope. idea once in a while, but to sort of like they got a couple hits and now they're like, let's let's do that. There is a lot of deep fake stuff going, but I don't think that's the world you want to own. Deep fake is a weird area it's going to get very <laughs> troubling but anyway sjjk dot sanctum yo andy i think i might subscribe to this Joni's quarter guy he's too honest possible voiceover work coming a jody an on <laughs> jody Thank and andy you. honest trailer combo uh maybe we'll see hey hey never uh, know. but i love uh, jody's realness i'm glad you guys are finding him what are your thoughts uh, this comes from third man three as well what are your thoughts on people using gofundme just to turn a profit i hate when people use it as a way to just hold out a tin can I can't stand it. I don't look, I don't I don't like asking for handouts. I don't want to ask for handouts. When I asked for a handout and did a Kickstarter, I made it clear that I was going to work, right? I'm like, if you want to pay me to do this work for you or you want to support this channel, great. But uh, yeah, anybody who sort of puts GoFundMe out, unless they really are like they're d- dying or their kids dying and they just can't have the funds, like that's I understand that. But no, if I see Mark Riley out on GoFundMe because he can't get a job and he doesn't want to Uber, sorry. <laughs> That's 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 not what that should be for. Uh, Jody, do you have any realness on that? I do, man. Like, I think that uh, asking for help is only I think you should let the work do it for yourself. Asking for it is something that I personally don't do. I I get people who support people send major donations my way. And it was never, ever asked for. I feel like if you work hard, you put your passion behind it. And people see your goals, 
they will get behind you and help you get there. And that's my stance on it. As far as people that just run and start up money fund, give me money, give me money to keep going. That's not the right way to do it. Uh, passion first leads everything. It's true. And uh, your advice was really good. So thank I mean, like I stopped asking and people just start knowing when to do it. And you either guys want to pay and support or you don't, I'm not going to beg for it. You can't keep begging for it. Yeah, so it's not a good look. Let the content speak for itself. Brilliant words. I agree. Uh, this one comes Grendel fan. The more important question, how in the hell did Roxy even get to where she is? I have no idea. I mean, she is, she does have talented parts. I have a I mean, few ideas. <laughs> she does have, she's as talented on her TV and hosting abilities. I think she can talk on camera. She's smart. Uh, look, I, I, I'm not here to knock Roxy. If she, but if she looked like Grimace, she would not be on Collider. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> no comment. Uh, All right. No, for sure. no, I didn't say that. Greg, because <laughs> I, I don't I, I don't speak inappropriately about my female colleagues. I just, I don't, and I didn't. <laughs> uh, Greg Fraser, uh, thank you for that donation, Greg. Collider has been down since they did the first cut uh, a couple years ago. And then when Ellis and Harloff left, there was no point in watching it. Look, it's true. We I, I had that same problem. It was like, we wanted to add new talent, but it's like, you got to sort of own the talent because look, I don't know why Dan Merle doesn't start his own channel. Dude. He's, what is that about, bro? He's like, a smart guy. So look, I, I have my own issues. I, I wish I could figure out how to way to rekindle that with him and be why nice. Why has it? What, bro, but bro, Dan, bro, bro. I love, dude, I actually really do love Dan still, even all the, all the shit and the misunderstandings there are. Do you? Dan, start your own channel. Read the writing on the wall. Go tell him I to. I tweeted at him. Do your Dude's own shit, talented. man. I, I stood by him always. He was our editor and I knew he was the, he was the voice of the channel. He was the everyday person that I knew. I was like, you're smarter than movies, but then all of us, I knew it. I will admit it and i loved fighting with him because he was always smarter than me with the movies and I, I i played heel to him to push him like a brother would you know what i mean and man my point is like he's the perfect person of he deserves an audience and and a channel like stuckman jeremy johns they're all great talented people he's one that just needs to get out of the corporate bubble and do it himself and he would, would you do work it well. with him are you guys cool can you guys fix no we're this, not cool i mean i i don't have a problem but we have not we have not spoken i, I don't want to speak out of turn we, we, yeah, there have been some exchanges i don't want to get into it specifically it's not he there has been a reach out, uh, but it's not an understanding. It's not, there's still sort of a silence. Uh, and I've been told there's just a lot of mixed feelings with me on that whole side. Look to anybody watching. And I see a lot of people are watching today, probably watching for drama or the tea. I'm not trying to spill tea. This is a related topic, but yes, any of you guys, I would love to talk to you privately. I'm not going to exchange my DMS or sp spread out nonsense. that's supposed to be private. Uh, I, I don't believe in that, not in that, but Yes, I would love to try and potentially engage with some of those people. They're just all afraid. They're all afraid because there are certain people that are still upset with me and they don't want to seem like they're being offensive, right? And it's a frustrating place where I'm stuck in the middle of how am I supposed to learn? If they're upset with you, it's fine. Say it though. Tell you. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like tell tell you what's wrong with what, what, the, what you did to them and let that be it. Dan and them both, they're being silent and that's what I don't respect. There's more to the story. I would love to share the story, but out of respect to them, I'm not going to share the story. Oh, okay. I will share it anytime okay. they want to share the story. Uh, it's, but I will call it, it's a misunderstanding. There are hurt feelings. Uh, I understand why. I have apologized. I'm not going to keep apologizing. I don't think that's the way to do it. Some people just won't accept them. But of course, I'm sorry. Uh, but at the same time, I'm, I'm hurt too. I, I don't think they understand that. They're all together doing their own thing. Good, more power to them. Go support them. I'm not here to bash them. Or I want to say one thing on the Dan thing. Yeah. Dan is such a likable person. He has that innocent, soft sweetness about him, and he knows a lot. If that fool made a channel by himself, he'd crush it. It would be successful. Dan, I'm telling you, get out of. I know he, he's very loyal. He's very loyal, except for <laughs> except for oh, one story. Sink with the Titanic. Huh? Uh, you gonna get on yeah, the raft with Rose? dude, read the writing on this wall and get out and do your own thing and start it while you're still at do Screen it, Junkies, so you can promote it. D d guys, go tell him to do it. I would subscribe. Uh, uh, he's really talented. Wow, he's, uh, did you guys watch his decade in at, at film? My God, he te made me teary. He put together an amazing editing of the decade in film. Uh, look, I'm not here to disrespect them. I I respect Dan. I wish I could still be on ta speaking terms with Dan. Uh, but Dan, go start your own channel and start it pretty quickly because it's, it's, the ship is going to sink in the corporate fandom world and you can still jump in and out. You know what I mean? Like leave on good terms, start your own thing. The audience will follow him. I think they will follow him. Um, the Titanic just hit the iceberg. There's still three <laughs> hours to get off. Uh, third man three. He said, Oh, the third man three. Thank you. He re gave, uh, he made a joke saying Mark Fernandez shouldn't have been doing shows about the Miami dolphins. And it's true. They started doing sports programming. There was like collider sports. That oh, was really? a misdirect. I can't knock that. That's a good idea. There's no. lots of views in sports. If you have people behind it that know it and can talk it. Right, but you got to be successful in movies or give up movies. If you spread it, then they're going to both suffer. 
You can't become a movie brand and a sports brand and then attempt to grow them both. I think you can. Well, I think you can if you have the a, right knowledgeable people doing it. Right. If you, what if you, you have get, funding, the nerds to talk sports? What you going to do? Uh, that ain't going to work. Right. Well, he can't even afford the nerds. So let, you think he's going to afford sports people on top of the nerds? That's my point. Yes. Don't yes. spread sports your eggs. Yeah, Invest yeah, right. in the right thing. Uh, Mark V's. Mark Fernandez is the Kathleen Kennedy of Collider. <laughs> Oh wow! Uh, I mean, uh, I hear what you're saying. All right, there's a lot of you. I see your comments in there. Uh, okay, Mark C. Uh, if you guys set them up, they they help. Uh, or if you join, I'll see your little badge. You can join Popcorn Planet, become a member. You get exclusive videos, early access. Uh, and you'll get little badges so I can see your stuff. Uh, Mark C. Roxy seems like a super woke Valley girl with no common sense. I'm so happy Harloff is on uh, is on at the same time. I get to keep my schedule. There you go. No comment on that. That I, I don't want to speak I ill Roxy, but I, I Harloff show good for it. Go support it. Go check it out. Um, I, I hope uh, I, I I watch it occasionally. I think he's a he's a good dude. Harloff's a smart guy. Harloff's a smart guy. I know he's trying to support his family. I got no beef with him. I do wish he would let me talk. I wish all of his people would just let me talk. Uh, because the frustration is so many Collider fans, Screen Junkies fans, they just don't even know I'm here. I get it every day. I get an email every day, Jody. They're like, man, I didn't even know you had a channel. I thought you were still a sex abuser. Um, and it's frustrating. Hey. It's really frustrating. And that's why I'm just I'm angry about it still. And they don't even get it. They just were like, nope, we, we blew you up. We set you on fire. We're done. We're ignoring it. But it's like, guys, you set the fire. You, you scorched my entire life. And sure, I was part of it. But at some point... How do we redeem ourselves? How do we have tough, tough conversations so we can help other men not make mistakes I made? You talk about it. You have to talk about it or what the frick is the point, right, Jody? <laughs> right, but I would have did it differently than you did. You could have saved yourself. And that, that might get too real, and I don't know if you want to, but you waited too long. As soon as that accusations and shit came out at me, bro, I'd be like, bitch, what? What you talking about? Email, text, boom. And then the lawyer thing, you were like, I'm waiting and all that. That's what ended up killing that sheet. I would have came out right away like, bitch, you did. I did what now? Hold up. Bow, bow, receipt, receipt. What killed it, bro? What it absolutely killed it. But, you know, I understand why you did what you had to do because, you know, it's it's just different. I think it's a culture thing. I think it's a culture thing. You know, I'm from the streets. You, uh, you're a white urban. And it's just a different culture type thing. I know people deal with it differently, I believe. And we are about get at you and y'all are you guys think more logically with things i think and i think that's what makes us dope but i would have flanked her out the gate to protect and defend mine and well, i think you were waiting too long there's two reasons i, I will respond to that because I, I think that's a fair comment but there, there's two things there was the legal thing which i i'm glad i waited for yeah, that there was the legal thing um uh, no comment on that, but it was important. I waited. I wish my okay. lawyer would have let me come forward that that is a fair frustration that i'm still dealing with but okay. you guys i think a lot of people just ignore the personal things that were going on during that time, because it's like I was making mistakes in my marriage and I had to come clean in my marriage and be admit I was a monster to my ex-wife. Like yeah, that, that was, a, that was the reality that I was living and that people don't realize how far that set me down. Not because I lost everything, but I affected her life and I didn't mean to do that. And I, I know that yeah. sounds stupid, but like, that's my punishment. It's not losing screen junkies. It's not the accusations. It's not anything. It's the fact that I hurt, my best friend then and like destroyed her life too. That was never my intent. Was, should my marriage have ended in things? Yes. Did I maybe, but it's like, I did never intended for the things to publicly blow up and destroy both of our lives, forcing us to move and all the shit that went down. So my point is like, that's what I don't think you're getting. And a lot of people get like, Yes, I wanted to come forward and do it, but I needed to mature. I needed to grow because I did make mistakes in my life. Um, there was a lot of stuff I needed to atone for and face and therapy and stuff, which I really have worked on. Um, so my point is, yeah, you're right. I wish I could have, but at the same time, I'm glad I matured and I let myself grow when I came back. Um, what's I frustrating to me now is like, okay, it's been over two years, really. We can't have a conversation, Christian or any of these people. Like, he would get numbers. <laughs> he would do I'm about to, hey, I, I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> I'm about to hit up Christian after this video is over. I'm hitting him up and be like, yo, what's going on? I'm going to see what's up, man. That's all I can say I could do. But I don't know if you're aware. You got a thousand people in your stream, bro. Shout out to a thousand people. This yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We're going to be doing this uh, every week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, starting a couple. So join us. We're going to be doing Nerd Wars. And then I, I just want to do more real conversation, mini wars with Jody. So join back. And I'm going to be on his channel. So if you're not subscribing to Jody's Corner, 
Go hit mm-hmm. him up. Uh, you're going to get more of this all the time. Jody's adjusting his schedule too. Uh, so much fun. I'm, I'm excited, man. 2020 this is, is going to be a good year. I, I, I don't mean to do a drama video at the beginning of my year because I try not to do a drama video, but this Ooh, is info. Drama, this is important. Be real. This is, we're reporting the news. Um, well, so as we say that and get into the drama, I do think it's important to like, I, I want to call this out because Mark Fernandez, what are you doing? Like they, he fired these people. Uh, Roth Cornette, my heart 100% goes out to these people, both in front and behind the camera of Collider today. These are incredible, hardworking people. The industry is brutal right now. So many skilled, experienced, talented find themselves out of work across the board. Koi Janju, I've never found an outpouring of love like this online for anybody who still, uh, uh, and then there was the Winter Soldier came out. But in all seriousness, I'm flattered and sad. Thank you so much. And he's showing that Collider was trending. Uh, Joe Starr, the best thing you can do is support folks getting screwed by Collider today is support their individual channels, podcasts, etc. That's how they'll grow. Uh, they won't support creators, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is all interesting. Jay Washington, words can't fully express the amount of gratitude I have for all you allowing me to part of your lives. And it's like, look, the, my point of sharing all these, and there's a lot of them, Collider threw them under the bus and didn't even give them warning. Like, that's effed up. That is effed they, up. They didn't trust that they would keep quiet. Correct. I mean, that's gross. That is so gross. And it just shows Mark is a shady, shady guy because he can't even blame it on his complex st- stakeholders that's his own business he decided to not let the viewers have a final stream say goodbye he gave christian that courtesy but you didn't give anybody else that courtesy you didn't give them 30 days notice around after the holidays dude that's shady sorry calling it out for what it is that's disgusting and i wouldn't want to work with that guy i don't care what it is business that's freaking shady am i right i know exactly why this happened it, it is shady but at the same time they signed up for Shady because I will never forget two years ago when Mark said, I'm buying it from Complex and, I, and I'm and i doing this all on my own. He had all of those Collider members there and he looked at all of them and he says, look, this isn't a family. This is not family. This is a business and we're going to run it as such. Basically, that was him saying, I don't give a freak about your personal problems. Don't care about your sick dog. Don't care about your bills. All I know is that we bought this business and this ain't about family. That lets you know that he don't care about them personally. Yeah. And he got to do what he got to do to look out for himself. And they stick around. Well, so. look, look, I'm going to play devil's advocate. This is part of going to be part of our show. The, why do they yeah. stick around? Because where else are they getting paid? Well, what, what else are you going to do? Where you, do you you're, get paid? You're, you're on Collider. You have life there. People look up to you there just because you're there. You're going to ride that ship until it ends. Sure. So my point is, I don't, I don't know if that's me. I don't want to call out the talent for being shady. I think they're just taking the paycheck, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not saying the talent was shady. I'm saying Mark was shady. Sure, no, Mark. Absolutely. And they signed up for shady. They signed up for shady. They should have, they should have known then. They don't have the realness in their body to know that was a huge red flag when he said, "We're not a family. We, right. I'm not well, running this as a family. This is a business, and it's all about how do we." grow and progress that should let you know that bro if you show up late you don't come you ain't hot if the shows ain't doing good the ratings drop you liable to get x'd yeah no it's true i mean look i guess if i'm, I'm we're gonna call we're being real right so i can just say whatever the yeah. hell i want um yeah. i you know what a red flag for me was when mark started showing up as talent on the show because that, exactly mark is not talent yeah. mark is the ceo yeah. and a businessman and when he started showing up and doing his little sport things and getting his face out there it tells you a lot about the guy now look one could easily say well andy you did the same thing i didn't have any talent they wouldn't give me any budget for talent and i didn't really necessarily want to but i knew all right well i love movies i'm writing honest trailers with these guys dan let's put ourselves out there we hired hal we couldn't afford anybody else and i knew like well dan and i were having these fights and so let's do movie fights that's something i'd done my whole life so i put myself out because of necessity right and then we we were, we were the crew that they knew because they loved that show mark didn't have to be on camera at all there was no reason for mark to be on camera except for ego right and then no there is another reason for him to be on camera why do I got to pay you when I could just do your job and save this $600? <laughs> what you talking about? Fair. <laughs> well, no, now he's learned he should, that, that he can't. They're not paying for him. They were paying for the talent. Well, they were paying for the Christian and everybody else. I don't think they were paying for right. Roxy and uh, Roca. No offense, but... I don't. Yeah. They're not. They're not bringing in the numbers like Christian was uh, dedicated or Schnepp. There were there were more talented people in their corridor that are now gone. I, I do want to show this other thing, and then we can move to whatever we want. But uh, this was interesting. Stephen Weitraub. So that's Frosty. For those of you that don't know the insight, uh, I don't have a problem with Frosty, but Frosty owns is like he created Collider, 
And Collider is a website. Collider has always not been video. Most people just know him because of Collider Live. And, but no, Collider was a website that did junkets, had all the stuff. And so Frosty does all the interviews. He does all the stuff. So it's interesting because he's still there. We're making some big changes to Collider Video. I know a lot of you won't like what's happening, but we're doing what's best for the company. Hopefully you'll like what's coming next. Finally, a huge thank you to all the people that watched and worked on these shows. Grateful, but not grateful enough to give them notice <laughs> or give them a sign off. Uh, so that was just Maybe interesting to me. Know. Oh, he had to have known. He had to have known, and he's still there. Uh, what's interesting is I don't know why he wouldn't just – they must be paying him a lot. He must be getting a good salary because he's got connections. His job is still secure because he's not on the video end. He's the internet-based guy, so maybe they didn't even tell him that video was ending. Well, no, he's not he, – the reason he's valuable and safe is because he has the connections. But he has the connections because he has the website. He's the dot-com, It's yeah. a synergistic thing, right, <clears throat> because he – the, the – Disney, everybody calls him to interview and do things because he can put it on Collider. And the talent like him because they've worked with him for years. But Frosty's interesting because why didn't he just go to a BuzzFeed or somebody else and say, look, I'll bring my Rolodex. I just need numbers. Frosty could go anywhere he wants. So this to me implies that they're paying him well and taking care of him. Mm -hmm. So he stays there. Okay. And so, yeah, he's yeah. clearly in on it. Um, so, but it's just interesting because <clears throat> they're, you know, thank you to all everybody who helped, but we're not going to pay you. And we're not going to warn you. We're not going to give you a way to leave. This is shady, man. This is just if terrible. If that's real, man, like, let me, uh, all BS aside, if that's real, where they just shut down Collider without telling any of the talent and the people that were coming in, that is really effed up, and I that's and I feel bad for the people who lost their jobs potentially today. Yeah, and so like Mark Riley Some here. Here's Mark Riley, forever grateful to Collider for the amazing experiences. It's only the beginning. I've been continuing to create on my Patreon page. Pay me, pay me, please, uh, and share my own writing adventures in Hollywood. Come join me for this crazy ride. Uh, look, everyone should go support these people. If you like them, go support them. Who I'm said not, that? That was a Mark Riley. Don't. I'm not trying to knock them. I'm sharing this because this is all part of the news. And go, yeah, go support Mark if you like Mark. Support any creator you like and pay them because they're not going to create content if you don't pay them. That's just the, the reality of it. So don't. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, and then Mark Ellis is making his comments. Anyway, uh, here's Dan Merle's comment. Collider's video crew is made up of a lot of great people and great friends. Their year of hard work should be valued more than it appears to, to have been. I'm thinking of them and looking forward to whatever is on the horizon. I hope to work with all of you for the years to come. Yeah, look at that. He's got 2,000 likes. Dan is a talent. Don't, quit wasting it and squandering it there. You would be making so much more money and have your own control, and you could bring anybody you want in and out. You could still show up on Screen Junkies whenever the hell you want, uh, and you'd control your life. <laughs> he, it's just fr it's frustrating to watch him there <clears throat> still doing it being a hype man well for now that there's a lot of pressure on him because if he does come out he's gonna have to answer the andy stuff and i probably think he looks like a passive guy no like he, he doesn't, doesn't have, want... he doesn't have to do anything he doesn't want to do he's he's stressed my guess he's stressed because he feels like well if i leave all the people who work at screen junkies are gonna lose jobs is he might consider that oh, he's, if i okay. leave then it's like a he's christian leaving, like and then who's gonna who's guy. gonna pay for fandom uh he's a good guy oh, okay. like that uh so you wouldn't some of you wouldn't think it because he hasn't talked to me but he's got his own reasons for it again i'm not trying to bash him but I, i'm trying to support him and uh, he should do both he needs to build up his own thing before before fandom crashes and burns is all i'm trying to warn him if he doesn't take that advice he's just an idiot because there's no reason he can't figure out in his negotiations because they need him that's the other thing a lot of these people never really understand they need dan desperately dan and spencer are so valuable to that if they haven't gotten a massive raise there's some serious trouble there so here's me actually <laughs> stirring up the pot because they need him john bailey Spencer and You're the uh, one to Dan. say it, though. You were there they, with, at the height of it. It's your sheet, bro. It has nothing to do with me. It's numbers. Honest Trailers is the only but thing you that know, brings numbers in. But you in. know the ends. You know who deserves what based off what they've been putting out. So you're absolutely the one to say it. Yeah, well, not only that, but it's like if you watch Honest Trailers, they have it sponsored by, uh, what was it, Dis uh, uh, Target. Target well, I is sponsoring. haven't seen Honest Trailer in a very long Target time. Target sponsors Honest Trailers. I, I had, it comes in sometimes on autoplay, and, I, and then I see the opening ad, and okay. it, they have Target sponsoring their ads. So they're doing, you know, brought to you by Target. And it's like, that pays, guys, that pays so much money. <laughs> probably, they probably got 50 Gs just for it, that. Thing. More, more. <laughs> That's what's, that's what's oh, crazy. Wow. People don't forget. I mean, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm not there. Okay. I can't tell you what t Target paid them, because, but I'm saying no one understands the amount of money. And so the point is, like, Dan could be making that on his own. It's like, why are you letting them? With it's, just, it's, it's so frustrating how loyal Everybody they are Everybody doesn't have that go-getter boss entrepreneur mentality. Some people just like to be a follower than a leader, though, bro. 
Yeah, no, look, and I don't, yeah, that's me, but whatever. Uh, let's me move on. I don't want to get off on this, Dan. I don't want, because I'm not trying to point off or, I, please don't send hate or anybody. We're showing him love. No, we're yeah, showing him love. Yeah, I genuinely show like him Dan. love. We want I, Dan to be I, I do love Dan. I want to be better. I, and I want Screen Duckies to be fine. I don't want that brand to go to nothing. That would piss me off. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> Uh, Perry Namara, for those who get the wrong impression, I'm not going anywhere, just putting more focus on other things at Collider. I figured that out because on her, uh, she's part of, if you go to Collider here, she is, she's wisely, uh, she is content development editor. So if you see here, here's our staff of people that are still, these, these are the guys who aren't fired. Jeff Snyder, Dave Trombone, whatever. So anyway, it's, it's this whole thing's interesting. Mark, to me, Mark Fernandez is a snake. Sorry, you don't just fire people like that. I think that's a really sh 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 thing to do because they people got to rely on their pay. And if they didn't know, and judging by these tweets, they clearly didn't know, that was that was terrible. But they're on their way to failure, if you ask me, because I don't think they have a brand to stand on without that talent. It's, it's done, yeah. Whatever they had is all the way down the toilet now. Even though they were a weaker version of the talent of what Collider used to be, it still was something. And without them you're it's gonna fall and crumble there's no way that the views will hold up there's no way that the live streams will hold up there's no way that the support and the fandom will hold up after this i think that the show is going to get incredibly small and then end up withering away and changing names to something else being sold or something right and there's no guarantee that deep fakes or any of these shows will take off and they're hoping that they will and selling deep fakes i don't i don't even believe is an easy thing to do that's what's so frustrating it's hard for me to understand but a, a company like collider even if it's owned by mark now not complex you make your money in your brand deals. You don't make it in the views. The views is just money that comes in, but the brand deals are where the money actually comes from when you're a big company <laughs> like that. Uh, whether you're a podcast channel, whatever, right, it's the brand deals that overpay. Uh, you can still make money off your stuff and support, but brand deals take it to a huger level that nobody really understands. I feel like now. you're not going to get brand deals like that if your views ain't hot and your attention and your swag isn't popping. If you're not in the know, like you're not reputable and people ain't looking to you for stuff as much and your clout drops, who's going to throw you a brand deal like that? And I think that was the end of Collider, bro. If he was getting brand deals, they wouldn't have shut down. Well, he needs an honest trailer. So that's the problem because Screen Junkies, fandom, whatever you want to call it. Again, I, I'm not speaking to inside knowledge because I don't it know what It looks like this with this defects is going to be. They're a well, version of an honest correct. trailer, right? They need a view getter so they can package it is how it works. Okay. Traditionally, in any channels, I'm not even calling anybody out. Traditionally, you package it. And I hope this isn't boring everybody. But it's like, all right, so you'll buy an honest trailer or you'll buy a deep fake, and then you'll get a week of Collider Live. Uh, and then we'll call you out. All, and that way you can charge a higher premium for the ad buy to, the, to, to a person like Target and actually sell them a package deals, why it's worthy. Um, so if you can't sell Collider Live, Live, then of course you cancel Collider Live because if it's not making revenue and you can't pay the support, you got to reevaluate the business. That is the fair truth. You can't deny that, uh, but you can do it in a more professional way than clearly he did. But um, yeah, this just screams to me that he needs some more brand friendly series on that channel. Um, <clears throat> it'll be very can interesting. I can I play devil's advocate with Mark for a second? Sure. As a boss that Mark was or is, how do you think he should have dealt with it? Just like bleeding thousands of dollars and keep him on for three more months while he was losing money. No, he so should have told find him another job. Or? He should have told him before the holidays. He should have told him, given him at least a month's notice, saying, "Hey guys, look, funds are tight, views are down. I'm not gonna be able to sustain this come the new year. I just want to oh, give so. you guys warning. You you know, go figure out what you can do. Um, but I don't want you to be completely you know gobsmacked by the news." but you're going to have to find some other opportunities. Uh, but we're going to do a big finale and say goodbye as we, that's just how you do it. Why, why yeah, miss okay. out on that fina you're talking final about before stream? the holiday, like maybe yeah. October, let them know around why that time. I miss out on a big Epic final stream of, Hey everybody, see you later. Our final episode. No, why, yeah, yeah. You would have gotten, I was thinking more of like present from now on, instead of him ending it. What if he made the decision now? What if it was abrupt? Like I got to end it. What would, should he have done today instead of ending it? Let them know, Hey, we're going to end it by February 1st or well, I mean, the press, March 1st. The press release is exactly how you write it, but press releases are BS and they're just, it is what it is. Like it's just, he's trying to downplay the other shows, but the telling thing is that it's trending. Um, his viewers are seeing that more than the, the press release. They're reading the press release, but then they're really, what's that mean? You got to actually have, PR addressing the concerns, right? And the press release doesn't concern that because he just announced it. Oh, we're done. If he's going to make shows, he had some money to keep them going for a month. I don't believe that for a second. Or he could have. I don't think them, he had the money, bro. I think that's why he did it. Deep fakes is not free. He's got to pay an editor. No, he's got to no, pay talent. No, I, th I think he. I think from the collider stuff, I don't think he had the thousands of dollars or however much it took to let them know in advance and then keep it floating for like two months while they did the end of the show celebration and all that. I think he said, cut the bleeding now and, and burn the wound to stop it from oozing out. 
I mean, sure. It's but again, if you want to be in the movie space and work with people and have them come support you, uh, I mean, they will anyway. Oh, it's douchey. All, it's effed up. Oh, I, just, it's definitely I, effed up. I think he, it's judging by the tweets. Uh, it seems oh, like he could have given them more notice. Uh, and I think it's yeah. silly to not just do a final stream. I, I don't buy. He couldn't have figured that out and done one t t tonight. You know, like why not? Do you think hey. that they won't do another one? Did they say that they're no? Is it's it done as immediately. Yeah, it's done. Uh, they're all they got the news and they're all there. That's why rocks and everybody's yeah, like grow out. Seeing production on movie totally Yeah, yeah it's that sure. that to me is where they made their failure. It's like duh, dude. Mark, at least get the re the revenue on the finale. At least get yeah, your final like, episode. It would be nice to see like <laughs> one more, two more streams at least. Yeah, if you got playing devil's advocate, Mark, why tour. would you throw leave money on the table? At least ride the talent till their very last episode. Uh, they'd all probably show up for for pennies just to sort of get more cred. Like that's what that's what I got so sick of LA. I'll, let me be. Can I be real about another thing? I can you be real it. on your own channel? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I got so frustrated. Like movie fights just became like. 10 minutes of plugs. It's like all people cared about. Follow me on this and zip zap and follow me over there. And I got my new thing and I got, Oh, I got my pot. It's like, Oh, it was just such a chore. Uh, and I, and I always would tell him afterwards. I always, I always made fun of how I'm like, dude, it says how Rudnick on screen. I have, you have a graphic that's that plugs it for you. Don't say, follow me on Twitter. Like it's desperate. <laughs> like if they want to follow you, they'll follow you. Uh, it's like or too much self promotion. Yeah, the self promotion like is just the death of LA, and that's all these people. That's all they do. That's all we're gonna see them do, and that's a bummer for content because we're just gonna see a lot of. I'm on a podcast. I'm. Or I'm here's my live stream talking about more news. It's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants more of that? Uh, here we go. De, De Bliss Station. Collider and SJ are crashing and burning because they got too corporate. The glory years of OG movie content are gone. Here's to the future. No, it's not gone. It's right here with Jody's Corner and Popcorn Planet. We That's aren't in right. the Hollywood it's system. At, baby. We're going to keep hit that subscribe button. Stop playing. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Was there another one I missed? Oh, yes, We're sorry. about to bring that Siskel and Ebert real banter, real oh, talk, non PC bullshit to YouTube. Yeah, Jody's Corner been doing it. Popcorn Planner been doing it, but we about to take this to a next level. I'm uh, telling y'all, subscribe. Have you heard of the infamous Schmoes No After Dark show from a few years ago? Three hours of pure drunken sexual harassment. Christian is being a hypocrite. Ooh, yeah. that, that, that was, ooh, that. God. <laughs> what what, what do I say about things? that? Uh, no content? That sounds fire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it, but I do remember texting both Mark and Christian saying, you guys are being really gross on air, and uh, some of the women are feeling very, extremely uncomfortable, and they deleted the stream. So, yeah, that did happen. Oh, for <laughs> real? Yeah, I mean, I know they were drunk and didn't mean it, and they deleted it, but, yeah, there was a really debaucherous After Dark show that they did. Does anyone else remember? It was it was brutal they were asking like which schmoes member would you rather choke while having sex it was like this really gross thing where the women were on the couch and sure they want they said they'd be there but it was a oh, little bit of fair. like everything that's everyone fire. accused me of they did on a live that's stream fire. That's and fire. They, they he doesn't want to talk about that ever that's part of oh, it wow, but... okay that's the pc stuff <laughs> but I'm yes last stream, king of scotland i'm not i can't lie that is that did happen uh wow, i'm glad okay. someone else remembers uh greg frazier this reminds me of an add letting go of their talent uh now let go the talent now the talent has found their own successes outside of it who do you want to think who do you think from collider can find that success outside of the channel well good question who do we still like uh let's answer that but james taylor i'm out you missed I'm, my I'm previous super chat happy new year i'm just making sorry the super chats are coming so high how do i find the old the old ones is there a place you got to show me how to do that jody because i can't yeah it's definitely in stream labs i'll show you how to uh do we are in the industry know that a town shuts down last two weeks they could have use the past two weeks to look for other gigs if they give a notice correct third man that, that's what i'm that's what i'm getting at super super lame to not give them notice uh but who do we think from collider still has potential I, i'll be honest i don't watch anymore i did not and not out of disrespect i can't think of anyone i'm gonna be a hundred i can't think of anybody the only two people that i f with why i even went to collider because i f with those dudes the other one is dead rest in peace to my dude schnepp yep. and the other one left that's christian harloff i have no allegiance i don't follow i don't care about anybody else over there so and 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 based off what I've seen, not a single one of them could take it to that next level on their own. I like Perry. I, I thought she's interesting, but I don't know if she could hold her to sit in a channel. But she's a good employee and a good like support. Did you know act. that Perry has her own YouTube channel and has, has had one for over a year? Is it does it do well? No. <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, it's hard when you have a full time job. There you go. But yeah, you go. There you but yeah, go. like Roxy. Look, I don't. Roxy has her has her strength. I like Perry though. Let me get one. I like her. She, she has this adorable cuteness. Yeah, and she I liked knows her. a lot. She, she so knows Perry, her but they don't care. 
Uh, Roxy knows her TV. Uh, Mark Riley's a good guy. Uh, I like Ken. I like Ken a lot. I wish. I think Ken went back to real job. I wish I could get Ken to do a show with me. The Star Wars Ken. I love Ken. Right? I got no beef with Ken. Ken has always yeah, been an honest, cool. good guy. Uh, yeah. I got no beef with him. I love it. Roka. I don't know him though, so I can't speak on him. Uh, Roka is good, but he's just too. He is too woke. That's the one example of I'll use that word. He just tries so hard to be the you know the. Uh, polite on everything and it just it becomes a little Here, annoying i have a, i have a personal experience with roca when i went into collider so roca was the the producer guy who was doing all of the the meetings the arrangements the scheduling prepping me prepping me into coming in to do collider heroes which the episode of collider heroes that i was on uh was one of their highest rated collider heroes ever so shout out to me for bringing that fire to collider because it was dull over there anyway <laughs> roca was the one who was who in Bray me and Gracia, he was nice. I could tell him he's a nice dude. I like him as a person. But opinion-wise, when I used to see him on camera, I do not agree with none of the shit. 20% of the shit he says, I feel like he just doesn't know that much. And his, I don't think he doesn't know that much. His opinion was whack to me. He was more of the same. But as a person, I could say he was really nice to me, man. And he seems like a good dude. Yeah, no, I, 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 and he and Mance gave me some of my favorite movie fights moments, the two of them fighting each other. He'd get really passionate, and you could tell he, he had some in him, and so he was always sort of saving face with it, uh, with sort of trying to always be very, uh, I don't want Light. to say the word woke, but yeah, just like, oh, I'm going to stand up for everybody. It's He was very much trying to be the best person in the world, and it's just like, dude, just focus on you. <laughs> don't try and save the world so much. It's not always working. Uh, Jar Jar stinks. Uh, Darina can succeed on her own. I don't know who Darina is. But sure, Jar Jar Stinks believes in you, Drina. Bunda, has Jody seen the Campia video? Oh, have you seen the Campia video? No, what's the Campia Can video? Can you go look up on YouTube? Do you have YouTube up? Let's do this together. Sorry, I John. I love this about John. This is not a knock on John, but I... Oh, I bet you he's swimming in freaking happiness look right on, now. Uh, look up John Campia loves black people. <laughs> John Campia loves black people. Okay, hold on. Let's open it up. Real Type quick. in John Campion loves black right, people. Yeah. Uh, let's play it. Uh, yeah, uh, here it is. John Campion on loves YouTube. Black people. I love you, John. I do actually respect John. I think he's killing this it. This seven second video, right? Yes, here? yes. You ready? On it. We'll play one. Play at the same time. Ready? Three, one, two, two, one. Two, one, go. All right. Uh, Smelly Negro. I love that name. Uh, which uh, hockey movie chant, I swallow knickers come? No idea. Ah! All right, uh... <laughs> he's like Got anchorman it. he's like anchorman he literally just reads whatever is right. on the teleprompter all right uh... <laughs> no i don't <laughs> got him oh let me replay that shit one more time. <laughs> smelly negro uh, you're on full screen let's watch jody's fresh reaction here we go <laughs> He said it. <laughs> That's fire, right? I mean, oh, beautiful. That you don't get a better news blooper than that one. Uh, oh, that's fire. That's <laughs> thank you, Bunda, <laughs> for reminding me to, to play that again. I, I, it used to be like a, an ongoing jo go jo choke here. Uh, we got another one. This came from, uh, thank you guys for all the support. Uh, so Solar, Sun Solar, they didn't just have the talent, then they. They didn't just have the talent. Then they fired the hotties, Mova and company. Then there was nothing left after that. Oh, there was some bad chicks over there. And I was working on Collider, the host chick. There was a, a white and black mixed one. And then there was like a white one. There was, man, they had some fire women over there hosting that thing. And they couldn't pay them. See, that was like the beginning of the end as well. They couldn't pay them. And they said, like, why do I have to pay her when Mark Ellis does a just as good of a job hosting himself? He could do two jobs in one. Yeah, no, it's true. I remember, uh, I mean, that started with Campia, let's be honest. Campia always made sure there was a hot girl next to him. He sometimes does it on his other shows. But that Respect. was sort of a, a thing he did. Like, it is what it is. Uh, but he would, he would, and they would never have them talk. That was the one thing I always was really frustrated by. I was like, they were literally there to read the computer and look pretty and then let John talk. And that yeah. was my, always my problem. And, and I had a lot of other people tell me that was, they didn't love that about it. But look, he did it. He knew his audience. Clearly, a lot of his audience liked it. The women are there by choice. They know what they're doing. Uh, I got no, it is what it is. But it was like, let them talk, dude. If you're going to have them there, at least let them talk. Uh, but yeah, people are loving that clip. <laughs> that clip is fire. Thank you for that. <laughs> 
Uh, so there we go. Uh, anyone else? Uh, thank you guys. Wow, this is a, this one's doing great today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll be doing this. Uh, I'll be on Jody's channel. Uh, do we do we commit to a schedule? What time I'm on yours? Do we know yet? We did, didn't we? Yeah, you're gonna be on my channel from uh, five to seven. Five to seven p.m. on Tuesday or thir or Wednesday. I believe it's gonna be Wednesday. That's right. You're Wednesday, on my channel on Tuesday nights. To and then you'll I'll be on your channel Wednesday nights, and then Thursdays will be another Nerd War. We'll have different people, sometimes Jody and other people coming in. Uh, so yeah. subscribe if you haven't, or become a member to either of our channels, uh, so you can really get involved. So thank you guys so much for watching and doing all this. Uh, uh, let's do some questions. If you got any, and Jody, you said you had. Oh, some. you got almost thirteen hundred people in uh, your this, stream this right is now. This killing that's, it, man. That's I love very it. Nice. There's only two hundred likes though. Like if you guys like what we were talking about today, if you didn't, thumbs it down. But the ones who are here. Like the video. It's That'll free. Help it a lot, it yeah. helps your channel. It helps the algorithm that kills channels like ours who are about getting the grind and speaking the real. So take a, a second out of your day and just hit that thumbs up button. It really does help the channels out. Yeah, agreed. And sorry, there were some people who sent earlier sub chats that I can't seem to find. Hold on, I'm looking. I can do that in the live control room. Where do I? No, I have to go into Streamlabs. You can. You can go in the live control room if they sent it through Super Chat. You can see the older ones there. But if you have the Streamlabs, you can go log into your Streamlabs and see all of the donations that came through. But that's just the – oh, really? Streamlabs will do all of them? Hold on. Looking all up. of them. Even PayPal, uh, Super Chat, all, all of right. them. Streamlabs.com. I, I have the chat, but it, it, it doesn't show all of them. So I'm trying to find some of the ones. So sorry if I lost some of the earlier ones. Uh, but anyway, I'll uh, send, send – They were flowing. They were definitely uh, flowing. Can you, you can't check them, right? There's no way I to go back. I have to be in your account. I um, can't sorry, check them guys. For you. All right, so we got a couple more in here. Sorry, as they come in now, I'll go. Uh, Tony, Cor keep going. Keep this going, bro. Oh, thank you, Tony. Yeah, uh, thank you. I will. Uh, let's keep going. Um, and that was awesome. Very generous of you. Thank you. I wanted to ask. You had Thanks, questions, man. Jody. What was your questions? You want to ask? And if you guys want to send some now, I will look for them. Uh, and I saw. Uh, sorry, who was asking me that? I missed it. Uh, James Taylor, I missed your your super chat. James, I'm looking for you. Uh, real quick now, send me your question again if you if you sent one. I but do. Jody, what did you want to ask me? If you want, let's let's yeah, get real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I think that it's questions that I want to know, and I think that the world wants to talk about. They want to hear from you. Like being over there at SJ Screen Junkies, um, and losing it the way it happened. I want to know. Like everybody seemed to just turn their back on you, man. And this is from my optics. It seems like once that came out, they were like, yup, he's gone. I'm out. I can't, I remember them putting the video out the next day. Yeah. I can't believe him. That's not tolerable. We are not for that. We like, they just condemned you. Like it was real. Like they knew that you were a bad person the whole time. And they were waiting for something to come out bad against you. So they could do that video and cast you out. I want to know, does that hurt your feelings, man? And, and where were you? Does it hurt your feelings to know that the people that you were sharing that space with for those years chose to say stuff negative against you? And even if they didn't say something negative against you, they kept quiet and let it happen. And if you have somebody that hurt you the most, who was it? Oof, you're going deep. All right. I'll, 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 since you're asking me, I'll try and give you what I can. I mean, look, I said it before and I'll say it again. I understand why they're upset. I understand why a lot of people were mad at me. I do feel like I abused my power. I abused my power, and I know we disagree on this, and you can chime in, but I abused my power in that I shouldn't have used my fans as sort of a buffet uh, or a dating app. I shouldn't. I absolutely disagree with it. I I'll let the world know again. Basketball players go to the club and get the finest chicks because they're basketball players. George Clooney gets the finest chicks because he's an actor. He uses his clout. He uses his celebrity. It happens all the time. Rappers, singers, Hip hop artists, YouTube doesn't make no difference. Everybody's been using their clout to get fans to sleep with them. That's exactly what it's all about. That's why people want money and fame is so they could get women. Continue. Well, you you are right and you're wrong. I think because but you're wrong because you were married though. So that was, well, that, I was gonna say you're wrong because I'm married. But you're also even if I wasn't, I think there's a diff. I've learned this as a man, and I'm happy to share this with other men to listen. I I had such an ego. I had such a misunderstanding of sort of when women were into me that I just assumed my power or my fame made them interested in me. And that was the disconnect and that was the abuse of power that I've really worked what on. What do you mean exactly? You assumed your I power just assumed, and your fame? I just assumed a lot of the fans wanted to be with me. 
I just assumed that fans were like, oh, Andy's talking to me. And I, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, 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 oh, okay. then no, oh he must, he, no, I'm, you still he gotta, must be attracted still gotta, to me. And yeah, that, that yeah, is yeah. where I crossed the line. And, and that's all it was. It was just a flirtation. Okay. Well, if it was that, then I was, that was o- okay. Then, yeah. I was overly flirtatious with a fan base and they didn't, they weren't comfortable by that. Now that doesn't mean I was like, Hey, show me your boobs and let's get naked and I'll throw you on the show to get sex. I don't want to be misconstrued. None of that happened. But I'd be like, oh, yeah, you're really pretty. Or, uh, oh, man, you know, I, I would – You people saw my embarrassing chats. I'm not denying them. They were embarrassing. Some of those chats are real. Some of them weren't. Some of them were out of context. But she was talking about sex. Well, the, the one that I saw, she was talking about having sex with you coming to your hotel room. Well, that's, that's that's that that one. I'm not talking about her anymore. I made other my video. Other ones, okay. I'm talking about all the other ones. We I've said like my you, piece okay. about her. I don't want to – So I'm you assume on that her. everybody liked you but wanted to get with you because you were Andy Signor. Yeah, there was one fan – very early on, I'll be I'll be candid with you guys because you asked and I want this to be out there because no one else will have right. this interview. I would love to do this interview with anybody. I have nothing to hide anymore, and I want to. I, I've I've reached out to some of these fans that I felt like they were clearly uncomfortable by it, and I wanted to. But let me give you an example. There was a fan who reached out, and she uh, was flirt. She I I felt she was flirting with me, and this was very early on. One of the first fans that sort of engaged with me in a DM, and I thought she was being flirty. Uh, and then you know she told me she was a masseuse. And then right there, I was like, oh, cool. What, you know, what, what, that Don't sounds cool. Wow, wow. And that immediately shifted to this weird back and forth where she played along. And she's like, yeah, well, if you got me a job, I'd give you massages. And that instantly, I was like, well, this girl's down. This girl likes me. And I didn't try and offer a job. And I was like, dude, I'm not offering you a job for sex. Like, that's crazy. But, you know, you, you are a fun nerd. We're always looking for females, yada, yada. Uh, if you're ever down, let me know. But, you know, th- there was that, like, mis- right? That was the misdirect. And I think I made the mistake if I shouldn't have even engaged. I should have just known better. And men, be careful out there because Twitter's forever and they will use it against you. And then they, they tear it apart and then you look like a jerk. But this was, uh, that was something that just, it was, I see, I, I shouldn't have engaged. I shouldn't have written back. I shouldn't have taken the bait. Um, one, beyond the fact that I'm married, that's the real reason I shouldn't have done it. But I just think I should have known better and I, I, I don't want to do that again. I, if I'm going to flirt with somebody, I want to make sure they're interested in me. Um, and I feel like I just stupidly just assumed. And I think there are mm. women out there who just thought uh, that, you know, they didn't know what to say because they looked up to me. They liked me. Yeah, you definitely can't assume every woman wants to get at you. Yeah, and I, I think they I looked up to me. I could see that, how, how that was wrong. They yeah. liked me yeah. and then me f- being, and again, flirty is the word of saying, oh, you're cute or, oh, do you like me or whatever. That's where things got gross, right? And that's where things were all over a line that I understand why no everybody great. doesn't like. So. That's the unwritten sort of untalked about thing that people still think I'm gross about. So yes, I want to take accountability for that. I am taking accountability. I have taken accountability for that. I, there are maybe three fans that I feel like, all right, maybe I, I, I shouldn't have, uh, I, I shouldn't have assumed you were interested in me, but it never crossed the line into do this for me, or I demand you do this for me or show me this, or that's, that's where I'm offended. So to answer your question, it's yes, there were some mistakes I made. Absolutely. That I've grown and learned. I shouldn't have done, but I'm really upset that they just, the silence implies that all of it happened. And that's where I'm really upset because yes, I made some upset of some, some mistakes that I think a lot of men make to be fair. Um, but I, I did not abuse my power in that I was demanding sex from fans, never talked to my employees and said, you know, sleep with me, never was inappropriate to Roxy to sort of say, to, to ask her or do anything. Uh, there were a lot of stuff that went by out there that was, that's really upsetting to me and it, it affects my credibility and moving forward because I just want to move forward. And if someone has a beef or problem still, you were so vocal then, why aren't you vocal now? That's, that's, what that's I'm the saying. hypocrisy. That's not, that's not fair to me. Have it, you you wanted to have a conversation then have it now damn it because it's still there and and there's a lot of people who just won't even engage with me because it's an unwritten rule of f who him. hurt you the most man um, who do you feel betrayed you the most above all uh it's it's equal honestly I, and I'm not hurt by them anymore I, I I genuinely don't care you're asking me so I'm answering these questions I don't I'm trying to move forward and not think about it but it's like yeah all you know the main screen junkies crew it bums me out uh, I reached out and apologized to each of them personally some of them wrote back some of them didn't uh, and it was sort of a clear I mean I gave it an open door like if you ever want to talk I don't think you know all of it they chose not to so I, I'm it is what it is mm, they've made the they've made crew. they've made their 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 thing clear and there's certain people there that I haven't apologized to that I don't, I have, I have no interest in too. There's, and I'm not going to name names or call people out, but there's a couple people there that like, I never was that big of a fan um, that I think don't deserve to be there and <laughs> take the credit for things that they do. Um, but whatever, more power to them. Uh, but there's, you know, core members of the team. I think, uh, you know, yeah, it hurts. It hurt. And I understand why they were hurt. 
Um, but what's frustrating is they stayed loyal to the company and they stayed loyal to sort of, oh, well, he offended our fan base. So now all the fan base can, must be against can, him. Can I, I'm going to throw something real out there too. Sure. That I, and I'm really going to think from somebody, I'm going to think from somebody who doesn't like you perspective. I'm going to think of it from a perspective of, because a lot of people don't like you. A lot of people like you, a lot of people don't. I'm going to think from the perspective of somebody who wants you to lose because there's a lot of them out there. That's why a lot of people ain't supporting you. Do you feel like they're just happy that a tyrant or a boss or someone on that high level of doing honest trailers and movie fights on TV all the time, YouTube has fallen and they want and they want to keep you down there and they don't trust you that when you get back to fame, that you won't resort to the same behavior that you're only being humble because you're down our level. Dark Knight. Uh, do you think that that's uh, that's a real uh, worry that some people have, or that's a real gripe? Uh, people think you'll get back to fame again, and then go right back to your douchey, arrogant Hollywood ways. You're only being humble because you're at the you have fallen. Well, I, look, I, I don't agree with the the level of how douchey people are painting me. I I, I admitted and, and apologized for being douchey in my past life, and I think that gave people carte blanche to say, "See, he was a jerk. He was an asshole. I, I was right." Uh, yes, I do think I had an ego. I think I there's there's pressures to having that job. You got to understand cool. that, and it's I like, to, to, sorry, but I. Look at your numbers, guys. <laughs> like, you can say whatever you want. I can, that could be cockiness or whatever, but I was good at it. I knew what to do. Could I have done it better? Absolutely. Could I have a better bedside manner sometimes? Absolutely. All things you learn when you fall, right? So, no, I don't I, – I, yes, I'm sure some people are afraid to give me the power because they think I'll never learn. Uh, and that's just certain people, right? That's most of the mob on Twitter and social media. You can't learn. You're dead to me. Um, going through what I did, I'm, I'm kind of weirdly grateful for it because – it opened my eyes and it made me smarter and more mature in a way that I'm not going to mess up again. I'm, I'm, in, I, I have a new family now, uh, an amazing relationship with someone I love dearly. I keep it private. I'm not going to get into it. I don't want to get into it all, and I keep that down low, not out of out of shadiness or fear, but because you know there is a little still of like it's in your business, and I don't want to I don't want to mix those again. I don't want to try and do that. So, no, I feel like I, sure to answer your question. Yeah, I'm sure there's a few people out there to do it, but for the Screen Junkies crew, I don't know if they care. I think they just, uh, I'm again, I'm speculating. I think they just are, uh, they're afraid to open the the cans again because they're hurt. They were bothered by it. It affected them tremendously. It offended the mm. fan base. I understand why some of that fan base was offended, but where I'm still hurt and frustrated is like, how you just you don't even want to let me move on. You don't even know the full story. I can't be forgiven ever. Like everything we built together, you're just going to now just do it without me and say we're better without him. That's that's shady. That's not cool. There was a period where the fandom page, like the history of Screen Junkies page, it was like the most biased hit job on me ever. And then once my it got news that I was settled uh, and all this stuff came out, that page got edited very quickly. <laughs> And I, wow. that was a sign of, I, I, I'm not going to call it people. They know they have to. Yeah, they knew. Okay, well, he's litigious. And maybe we shouldn't have said some of the things we said in that big statement video. Uh, clean up that page. <laughs> let's say, let's cover our tracks and don't speak about it again. Uh, so I do think there's a little bit of that. And so uh, is that frustrating? Absolutely. But it's, it's like, be. would Screen Junkies be an amazing episode to bring me on where I'm actually grown apologizing, apologizing and trying to move forward and letting the audience make the decision of whether they want to support me or not? Would that be the fair thing to do? Absolutely. I don't think they want you to come back, bro. I don't, think I don't they really want, want to come, come back, back at this point boss. either. Yeah, I don't want to. No, 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 not yeah. to be the boss, but just to sort of address the elephant in the room. You know what I mean? They, yeah, they don't. They think I don't. This is what I mean. Honestly, I'm saying I don't think they want to give you the opportunity and that shed that light back on you that would give you more clout and make them look worse. I just don't feel like they're they're big enough to do that. Well, we can't, I can't speak for him. I don't know. But uh, let's see. Brandon Bobo says, much love from Jody's Corner. Thank you, Brandon. Bobo. Uh, <laughs> Grandoff fan, 84. Who was the worst backstabber after what happened? Uh, I mean, that was JTE. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Talk about a cuck. <laughs> cuck sucking motherfucker. Bro, I swear, I feel like if I ever see him, I'm not going to – I got words for him. Like, you motherfucker, bro, you – what so so is this chick right here, bro? That you willing to stab him and shake him and all this shit over that chick, bro? Why? And then Andy was like, bro, had mine. Here you go, JTE. Make it happen. Yeah, I'm going to wife it. And then I'm going to stab you in the back. Thanks a lot. Bro, that dude is like the ultimate cuck, bro. <laughs> I did Freak. say it. When I, I was reading I'm this not shit, gonna I was like, with you oh, my 
God, this is me talking. I ain't speaking for you, Andy. I'm just talking from my perspective of what I know, bro. Bro, you go to sleep, you wake up, you look in the mirror. I don't, I don't know if you can, bro. I just honestly don't know. And I don't know how that chick wakes up next to you knowing that her man's cucky. I just don't <laughs> get it. Shane Diesel could come out, whip it out, and you're ready to cuck. I cannot respect that boy after doing that. There's a bro code. He smashed that sheet into pieces, grinded it up with a Mexican salsa grinder, and then smoked the ashes, bro. It's disintegrated. Look, I'll say this. He did not make himself look good. When all that evidence came back, and then he just proceeded to say, yeah, Jenny's a lot, blah, blah. Then I, I knew he was in on it. Because it was like, dude, d- oh. I, what, people don't understand. Like, They specifically complained that I was harassing them. They specifically, that, that was what I was told, that I texted them. I, I was bothering her via text, email. I was calling from blocked phone numbers. And so literally they, they accused me of this and I'm like, did they share any of the emails or like screenshots of the calls or do they have any evidence? No. Why, why would they delete that? <laughs> if I'm har- if you're getting a call, Jody, from someone who's harassing you, do you delete, do you delete them or do you keep them to like create a police record? What, uh, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. So I know for a fact because, and I, and I asked like, so this is coming from both of them? And they said, yes. Cause I was like, well, I didn't do that. So then I know they're both lying. That's good to know. Uh, so he's, a, he's, a, he's a total fraud. He's a total fraud. And that, that is the biggest backstab. Yeah, yeah. And it's the reason the backstab because he was literally on movie fights the night before it happened. And he was chumming it up with me all like, yeah. Oh, dude. For real? Oh yeah. The God. last movie oh, fights was with him. Uh, and then literally a month prior when he was clearly ready to stab me in the back, he, uh, I, Michael Rooker was on the show. Michael Rooker was on Screen Junkies News, and I was like, I knew he was like a big cliffhanger fan and a Stallone fan, and I, had G, I still had JD's back because I didn't was never trying to fire him or anything. And I was Michael Rooker's there for some time, and I was like, Hey, Michael, our our engineer JTE, he he's a huge fan. Do you mind doing a quick video for his channel? So I had, like had his back even then, and JTE of course took it. It was like, Thanks, man, cool, and then did it, post the video, and then literally a month later. <laughs> So, yeah, that's an easy answer. JTE uh, was stabbed the knife just... in Dornish poison before he stabbed you in the back. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so there you go. That's the, that's an easy answer. Uh, and he's but he's now longer with Screen Junkies. So I, I gotta say, JTE, oh, let invite me on your show sometime. Let's do let's do a collab. <laughs> you would go over there, bullshit. You would go over uh, there. That, wouldn't that be good TV though? <laughs> I, I would watch. I'd watch, man. I'd, I'd pay uh, for that. I, no, I would. If JTE would finally be wise and be like, you know what, I was I I was blinded by that. I should have. You were right. Uh, if he did that, yes. Uh, even if he even if he does if it, if he did that, I, I, I would have a off. conversation with him. Uh, James oh, Taylor. James Taylor said personally, the reason I stopped watching Collider is because they were pushing uh, Biazo Star just J W O Biazo Bozo. I don't know what he's saying. S J W politics. I cannot stand Joan Roca or Hector Navarro. Look, I, I don't want to get this whole like S J. Who cares? Who cares? Just just don't listen. Don't. It affects us. It affects us though. That that stuff is in Hollywood. It's thick. It ruins our movies. <sighs> No, no, sure. I don't mean to be so flippant about it, but I'm just like, yeah. then just turn it off. Just turn it off is all my point. Watch something else. Come watch us. We're not going to talk about that. But I, I don't know. Just because there, I see that being used, so maybe I'm over. Like anytime someone diverse is on screen, they assume it's because of SJW politics, and it's like, well, wait a second. Oh no, good? you got to use the context. Yeah, yeah it's like just... a, that's my I, I, that's what I meant. So anyway, um, and then we got a couple more, and then if you have any other questions, we can get to them to wrap things up. Uh, Bunda, the truth is very uncomfortable. Um, they are cowards. Uh, well, there you go. Bunda had the word. Uh, I would, I, uh, do you think on that? <laughs> I would agree with that. I don't really. Uh, at the end of the day, you cannot. It's hard to not come up to to that conclusion after hearing all of this stuff. And the thing, the sad thing is that a lot of people still don't know the story. That's the sad thing about what happened to you, about what you've been through, and about your redemption, about that your 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 innocence on the the number one thing that got you to this point. So, and 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 I'm going to be honest, man. I think that. That girl belongs in jail. I think that she should have charges. I think that she got off with a slap on the wrist. The accuser gets backed. The accuser gets the wave. But when the accuser is a liar and is really the offender, they don't get no repercussions for that. They just get to go home and live their regular life. There's something wrong with that, man. There's just something wrong with that. I don't think that that's justice, and I don't think that it's ethic, and I don't think that it's right. It's wrong. No, I, look, I don't want to sit here and talk about her anymore, but no, what she did was wrong. What she did was wrong, and everybody who supported her and said it was what she did was worthy, they were wrong, and it was totally uncalled for, and it's a slap to any victim's face because – there were it hurts no, their case. There were no victims to the level of anything I did. There were some women who just felt uncomfortable because I said, you're pretty. Well, and that, that's not 
the level of victim that that woman tried to claim and the fact that they all sort of, oh, the bravery. It's like, guys, sorry. It, 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 was, it was ridiculous. Uh, and she, she slapped that so badly that anybody who saved – and then her response, everything should be telling to you that that was she clearly was not telling you the truth. And they didn't care. It just shows how blind a certain side can be because we're like, we don't care. We support you, girl. And that's so dangerous. It's Lynch so mob. dangerous. It's so disrespectful. Uh, and it's really, really gross. Uh, Tony Carant asks, what's the word on Joe Star Bro? No comment. Mm. When... He, seemed like, he seemed like the goofy <laughs> one that didn't really wasn't really in a lot. Like he just came to work type shit. He didn't, he didn't really have a, Look, that much people, of a pain. Uh, let me say this. People love Joe star. I'm glad they love Joe star. Ah, good? I, I caught it. <laughs> Got you. I, I, I don't, I'm not Got here you. to knock anybody. Uh, he was always, very, he was always very nice and supportive of me. Uh, and you know, he, he was, was, he was a nice guy. Uh, was. But yeah, there was no one quicker to throw me under the bus on social media everywhere and have the back of of, of all those people than he. Uh, and uh, I, look, that doesn't surprise me. But whatever he wants to do, I I don't have any bad blood or any blood with Joe Star. Wish him the best. Don't need to engage with Joe Star anymore. But I'm glad if people dig him or he's funny. Good good on him. Uh, but uh, I'm sure he feels the same way about me. <laughs> so probably that's why it's just you no have to comment. I don't I don't want to engage anything that gets him engaging with me because I just have no interest in engaging with him. Uh, no mm. no poor or good or just just whatever. Good luck. Um, the, that was it. So um, Jody, any other Swath. questions? Yeah, so uh, I've put two and two together based off seeing that we all have a disdain for what JT did. That's obvious, but I think I found the person on that panel that probably pissed you off the most. On and which I'm panel? Going, uh, off, off of uh, Screen Junkies. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Based off of, of what I've been hearing and uh, uh, Joe Star, uh, uh, hold this L. But uh, as far as uh, I think we are, we're going to be working together. We're going to be doing collaborations. You're going to have an official show on your channel that I'm going to be on. So you guys need to subscribe to Popcorn Planet and to see Andy and to see some of me over there. You guys need to come to Jody's Corner, subscribe to my channel to see Andy because he's going to be coming over there and some of me over there. So we're going to, I'm looking forward to the collaborative effort that we're doing. It's, uh, I'm, our circumstances are coming together in this situation, and I think that it's a good thing. And here's to bringing the real content to YouTube that so many people have been thirsty for. Because at the end of the day, even when you were on Honest Trailers, you were doing Screen Junkies, you were the Andy Signora of, of old, there was still Jody's Corner here eating really well based off of people who wanted that real, real content, real opinions without other bullshit. And I believe Screen Junkies, Collider, and I think those are the main two. We're still a part of that PC, not non bold opinionated uh, type of culture. And now I'm just glad that we're going to be able to spread more of the real. Yeah, no, I'm excited to. I appreciate your honesty. It's always it's it's been really fun to talk to you. I think the fans are digging yeah. us talking. I, and I, I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot here. When I show up on Jody's channel, I'm going to shut up and let him lead. But yeah, when I'm here, I I was leading a bit. But um, it's yours. Yeah, show but, channel, man. But uh, no, I, I love hearing your thoughts, and I, I'm thank you for supporting me, being here, Jody. Guys, go support Jody because Jody. When the, when the drama came out, Jody was you know was real and honest, and he called me out for some stuff that was valid. Mm -hmm. But he was one of one of the first people who sort of was like, well, how do we know what's all? He he questioned it. He challenged. Challenged it. He called out some of those girls. Uh, so I knew that. I had a buddy. Uh, my buddy Eben connected me. It just he was introduced me to me. And he's. Uh, it just I. So I became a fan. And I saw you've been real. Uh, through all your content and so I just I'm appreciative of that and then I'm appreciative of our friendship you, we've had some calls you. your honesty your feedback it's been valuable Jody you've been, I know you're you're successful in your own right and so I, I applaud you and respect you so I'm excited man I'm excited to do this I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to it uh, let's wrap up a couple more comments quickly some of uh, yeah, let's do it. Like, send them on over last chance guys if you have any thoughts I'm going through a couple more here uh, but you guys are sending them over so thank you uh, because it does pay the bills uh, I want you to support Jody's and mine so thank you for sending them in here at the end and uh, I, I'm glad you guys are appreciating us getting real uh bunda <laughs> cho star has the personality of a dead moth <laughs> <laughs> he said a moth a, a dead moth. A moth don't have a personality when it's alive dead far overkill look, I, you know what i, I want to let me because I, I feel like i just burned joe star and i, I and i don't want to he, he let, seems funny I, look i don't i i want to be clear in my feeling on joe star joe star here's why i have a little bit of a beef with joe star Joe Star went on Reddit and a bunch of places after everything went down and just spoke up on behalf of the brand. 
And he was the most junior level of the brand. And he spoke up as if he had knowledge of things that he absolutely did not have knowledge on. And like, so uh, young buck, what you doing? Talking? Yeah, it's Boy, like, dude, slow talk. it down, man. You, you actually don't know. And whatever, whoever's <laughs> feeding you stuff, you don't actually know all the stuff. That's annoying. And that's why I have a problem. Cause it was like, dude, just okay. mind your business. And that, that's really what happened. And, and so I, I have a, a bitterness to sort of him labeling me in certain ways that were not accurate thing. And it was, it was just annoying little things of just like, Andy never wanted to pay the guests. That's a complete falsity. I didn't have a budget to pay guests. And I had already argued and tried to get budgets for guests. And I had been fighting those fights behind the scenes so people like Joe Starr didn't have to know or deal with those fights because my higher-ups, I had bosses, wouldn't let me do that. I had bosses who were trying to fire Dan Merle for years, and I fought mm. them to, to do it. I had bosses who tried to fire Joe Starr. And like my point is like they have no clue what was actually happening behind the scenes. Some of the people I'm sure that are there now were te- are telling them things that they weren't telling them two years ago when it was, you know, I mean, so my point is like, Listen to that knowledge, just, Dan. Just pause and don't. Yes, you don't have to like me. I'm not trying to say all this to get their love again or be on the channel. That's the other misconception that really pisses me off. I'm not trying to get back on Screen Junkies or just have their like respect again. Yeah. I just want to be honest and have a conversation. That I would happily closed. do it privately, but people want to keep asking because you won't address it. So it's like yeah. I'm not going to just let it be some weird white elephant in my in my life because they don't yep. have the balls to talk to me about it. So that's why it's happening. Uh, <laughs> so there you go, Myra Martin. Well said. Myra Martin says, uh, Handy, that girl gives real victims a bad name. I agree, Myra. It's sad. That's the real bad part. I don't want to keep hating on her. It is what it is. Uh, I have no idea what she's up to, what she's doing. I I hope someday she matures enough to, just for the sake of my kids, I hope one day you mature enough to to clear the air, to make it very clear that I never forced myself or attempted to force myself on you. And I hope one day she steps off a curb and a suburban (laughs) runs over her toes. No, I don't wish that on anybody, even though you'd think. I know you don't. I know you don't. But You got to be better than that. But no, she just... What she did was wrong. Even if she feels like, oh, yeah, but all these girls you flirted with got wouldn't have come forward otherwise. That's not worth any disrespecting true victims of assault and, and implications of that and feeling and playing yourself as a victim for views and attention. It's gross. Okay. And I, I'm sorry, it's gross. And the fact that people didn't give an S about it. Uh, anyway, uh, sorry, I don't. I want to be careful. Don't that's the problem. No, I'm going to say that's the problem because there are real victims out there that don't get believed, that won't yes. get believed, maybe Correct. because of what she did, man. And that's the real ill, and that's that infuriates me, man. I have friends who have been raped, so I know. Yeah, no, I, I, I honestly, I struggled with my the, part of the reason for the delay. I was like, man, when I drop this knowledge, I'm giving people who have real who are real victims potentially doubt because oh, this girl did it. Uh, so I, I did internally, I had a lot of struggle with that. Of like, what do I do? But ultimately it's like with my family, my girlfriend and everybody, we were like, you got to do it. You got to do it to put this out there for the sake of your children, your name. Like you can't let her spew this and and leave this evidence on the floor. So it came out. Uh, you know, you know, uh, spindle 84, you know, who was real talking MF -er, John Schnepp. I agree. I wish I was closer. We were, we were fine. We engaged here and there. Uh, he didn't really speak ill about me when it went down. I respected that. Uh, I supported a, a bunch of his comics and Kickstarter and stuff. So we were we were friendly. I always loved him on the show. But yeah, he was a straight, real dude. I, I, I know yeah. he was the real deal there. He He's just was genuine shooter. to talk to. New as shit. Uh, genuine, nice. genuine guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that was a big loss. I feel really bad about that. And I, I was I was offline when I couldn't really engage with him when that happens. But I, that was a bummer. Bunda, enough about Joel or whatever his name, Joe. Uh, let's end this with fun. John can't be a video. <laughs> uh, always end with uh, John can't be a video. All right. Anything else you got, Jody, before we wrap up here? And I'm gonna... Yeah, I just I just want to say that uh, here's to the future and uh, rest in peace to John Schnepp. I'm glad that I was able to get on a show with him before he passed away. Just a few months later, after I did that uh, video with him, he uh, he succumbed. So what was your experience with him on that? Uh, we was talking, you know, backstage stuff was more stuff. We had conversations. We were talking about Civil War. We were debate. We had a backstage debate, a thought on why Civil War was better than Winter Soldier. John Schnepp got Civil War over Winter Soldier. I have Winter Soldier over Civil War. So we were back there going at a little bit, just a little friendly stuff. And he's he's really a fan. He's really about it. And he's nice, ingratiating, cool dude, straight shooter. So yeah, no, uh, rest in peace uh, and to Holly and everybody. All my love and support goes there. It's, it's still got to be rough. But yeah, his memory and lives the on. Amy, the girl Amy, she was very nice too. Shout out to Amy. Who? I think that-
Amy. That was her name, right? The, the nerd girl on Heroes. Her name was Amy. Oh, I, I didn't watch it. As yeah, she was really nice. She was really nice. I don't nice. remember. I remember Schnepp. Uh, uh, and I know he, he and Jeremy did some fun stuff. Yeah, he was a great dude. I, rest in peace. Uh, I'm glad his legend is still... We remember him. That's that's really just the key to a good person, right? You remember. You miss them. You keep bringing them up. Mm-hmm. Uh, if he wasn't good, he would have been forgotten about. But the fact that we are still talking about him, that's a good thing. We should continue to talk about him. Uh, mass respect to uh, Schnepp and his family. Um, well, there you go. Uh, I thought I saw... Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Bunda wants me to end on uh, John Campy doesn't care about black people or loves black people. Here we we go. Let's listen one more time for all of those who missed it the first time. (laughs) Here we go. John Campy loves black people. All right. Uh, Smelly Negro. I love that name. Uh, Which uh, hockey movie chant I swallow knickers come? No, I (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't. Oh, my gosh. There you go. Good. Oh, crazy. Man. Look, I, you can, can, I, can see that happening. I, I don't think he's watching or he cares. I don't know. But I, I got no disrespect. I start. What, another mistake I made is I went after uh, Campia right away. And I wish I'd waited a bit uh, because I clearly pissed him off. I stand by what I did. He was a snake and he did call me out. And I just wanted to point out the fact that he's like, I'm not going to comment on Andy because I didn't comment then. But he did. And so I wanted to call that out because that was frustrating to me. And then he tried to spin it of like, well, no, I didn't do it. On my, I said on my YouTube channel. But whatever. Yeah. I've po- I've uh-huh. written an apology to I him. I have my own stuff with him, too. I got beef with Kevin. I've yeah, tried to apologize. History. I'd love to clear the air, water yeah. the bridge. I, yes, I play that clip. I, he should play that clip, too, because it's funny. <laughs> you got to embrace those, John, or what's the point? Uh, but I, I respect the hustle he has on YouTube. I respect his it. hustle and I respect what and he does. I, I could I, flame him about my opinion on him. And then I could instantly just say, at the end of the day, he went solo and he's doing his thing. Yeah, he did and it I respect first. that. He got it first. I and it. so, that, good. good. I I, I, seeming I'm knocking on him, I just want to be clear, I'm not. I don't want to be knocking on people in the New Year. All right, we got one more comment as it slipped in. Uh, Tony Corrent, what about Roth, bro? Uh, I got no issue with Roth. I, I Actually, of all the people, when they made their statements, I thought hers was fair. She did. She actually spoke well. Like she said, in my experience, Andy was tough, but you know, she actually, I felt like, was being at least honest and trying to play as much both sides as she could while respecting the victims at the time that they all thought. Uh, so I didn't have a problem with Roth. Uh, look, I, I brought Roth in. I, I wanted Roth there because I thought she was valuable. I, I her all her years, uh, you know, uh, at IGN and everything else. I respected her. I thought she'd bring some class and importance to the news network that we wanted to do because I saw what other colliders and channels were doing, and that's why fandom live or whatever the frick they're calling it now i knew like we got to get on this and then we took over clever movies which is now is now fandom or whatever but I, that everything they're doing was me pushing it took me at two years to get that going no one wanted to pay for it and i was like no we need an editor-in-chief to do news like we need to be more legit uh and break that and so she was brought on to do that uh and so look i i got no beef with her i respect it I, it's just frustrating because I don't see anything new there that's working. And I just mm. wish I could see them trying to do their own thing more. Uh, and if they're just going to continue to do what I do, it would have been nice to at least personally attempt to like, Hey man, thanks for everything that got getting us to this point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, thanks for building this and with us. And you were very instrumental. And I, I, I feel bad that we never gave you an, a venue. Let's just make sure we clear the air and give you a venue. Best of luck. You know, that's all I wish these people would do. Uh, I don't want to go back on stream junkies. I never want to do that. That's not hey. my intent. Yeah, freak you, AVP, man. Leading questions. I'm just asking regular questions. Freak you, man. I'm freaking keeping it 100 over here. You don't like the questions I'm asking because you don't like the answers to the debate? Don't call out. Don't give her the atten- him or her the attention. Oh, that's how I, oh, that's how I do it, bro. I, I'll keep it 100. <laughs> These leading uh, questions. What was his leading qu- What was the leading question? Yeah, don't worry. We freaking talking about, man. Thumbs down, man. Get out of here with that, bro. Wait, the, the lead. Oh, for Tony. I think he's talking about Tony. No. No. Oh no, Jody is doing. Yeah, you, you see something. Yeah, yeah, watch if out. you call out Jody, he will call you out, guys. Yeah, be, yeah, that. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, there's a lot more coming in there, but I, I don't want to keep you. I know you've been late, and I don't want to keep this. I, you do four hour streams sometimes. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, those are over with. I'm not doing it no more. <laughs> it's a lot of work to keep hours talking. Now. I haven't done it in a while, so I'm like, all right, we, I can. St- this this felt like we weren't getting boring, but yeah, I don't know how yeah. I couldn't do that day to day. Tony Current Power Levels, bro. Oh, that's the new show they're doing. I, I don't watch it. Uh, what is, do you guys watch I don't know it? What that is. Do you guys watch? I don't know. Curious. Look, mass respect. I want Screen Junkies to succeed. I created it. I, I want it to succeed so I can still say all that stuff that's there, the old honest trailers I did. I'd love to have them stay on there. So I don't want it to be dead. Uh, but it would be nice to at least like have a respectful if we walked by each other, be like, hey, how's it going? Instead of That'd be nice. ignoring, you know what I mean? Like that that's, would be nice. At some point, I hope when they're ready, they do it. Again, not trying to throw shade. I'm sure they think I am. 
It is what it is. Uh, but Jody's Corner, thank you for joining me tonight. You are the man. I'm excited to do thank this you, weekly man. with you. We're going to be talking a lot, so let's save some of our voice for that. And all of you tuned in tonight, you better be subscribing. I want to And like. You, I saw those likes go up, but there's more of you who still haven't liked. Uh, that means it's probably JTE watching. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody else, <laughs> with his bots. Lay, lay, uh, lay those likes up right now so the video does well and gets up there. Uh, and uh, yeah, Vito, cancel big media, support indie creators. Uh, he's Vito, you're right. Uh, because that's the problem right now. That's why I want Dan. I hope Dan, I hope Dan at some point wises up and works for himself and so goes out I. of there of all those people. Oh, and Spencer, angry. Spencer is so funny. Spencer is, was always the secret weapon of honest trailers. They, I don't know. People say they're not funny anymore. I think that's, I haven't watched them, but I, whatever. All I know is Spencer is a really funny dude and he just works. He doesn't, he doesn't want to get into drama. He doesn't engage in any of that BS. He just wants to work. And so they're, they're the real talent. Those two, I think, and John Bailey and his voice without the three of them, that channel is in trouble from a view standpoint is all I'm trying to say. So I, I do hope they, they don't get so blind to the, to the bubble they're in and the whoever corporate's telling them because they should all wise up and start building their own independent channels because Dan Merle could do it. Am I crazy guys? Would you go subscribe to Dan Merle's channel? Absolutely. I think they would. Wouldn't you Jody? I would bro. I've been, I've been asking for this even when you were there. So yeah. Um, anyway, that's my real, I, again, I got all my screen junkies gossip about, hopefully you guys got your fill so I can stop. I, I'm yeah. Again, a lot of questions answered here tonight, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's why I got to hit that like button. We got, we really took it there with that realness here tonight, man. Shout out to Andy for, uh, answering those. My favorite questions. comment, uh, Mark Fars, who's JTE. Don't worry about it. It's a perfect answer. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Dead and gone. Exact, it's exact. Snow. It doesn't matter. On, beneath the snow <laughs> on Hoff. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, we got lots more to talk about. If you think we got the heat here, just talking about our own lives, wait till we start talking Star Wars, uh, Mandalorian, Witcher. Hot topics, oh, we're gonna movies, do everything at this, with this level oh. of realness, guys. Oh. Uh, it's so gonna be so fire. Collider's gone, but you got serious personality, and you got two guys who want to be here. We aren't paying. We're not. We're doing this out of the love, guys. So if you like this and you want genuine stuff, please help me spread the word. Jody about Jody's Corner and about here on Popcorn Planet. There are so many people who don't even know I'm back. So go give a like and say this was a real stream. Andy's back. Please go support him and give him a shot, just so people can get the real story behind it. I would love for you to share this uh, so they get the word out about this and everything else. So please, thank you and uh, thank you so much for those who came and watched and gave today. Jody, my man, I loved it. I this was a blast. This gets me excited about. What we're doing. I hope you're feeling it too. Uh, any final words or things you want to send out to the, to the, the audience watching? Stay tuned. We come in. The wave is going to be big. It's going to be real. Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to get real. It's going to get real, real. All right. Uh, wait, there was one more. Did I get uh, uh, Maya, Meyer Martin? Congratulations on the 100K. Yes. Thank you. Let's get to 150, right? That's the next goal we got to hit. We got a lot to go. It really slowed down after that 100K. YouTube is like, Hold your roll. <laughs> yep. Freaking YouTube but, algorithm. Uh, we'll get there at some point. Uh, but anyway, thank you for that, Myron. Thank you all for watching. Nerd Wars will be back after in the new year soon, along with some new shows. Stay tuned. Uh, and I do a bunch. I've been doing this best of the decade. Um, it's been really fun. I got. T uh, I already did the first two or three. I got a lot more coming this week. Uh, go check them out. Uh, I'll I'll try and do an annotation to it at the end of this video if you made it this far. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I'm going through my best films of every year from 2010 to 2019. Uh, and it's awesome. a really fun conversation, revisiting movies, trying to come up with that order. Uh, you guys can get involved so come join me in that new series uh, thank you all for watching thank you Jody my man Jody's thank Corner you. go subscribe go join don't just subscribe guys go join because we're going to do awesome. I'm doing exclusive streams and stuff if you join I see your comment because you get a little badge and a bunch of other extreme uh, exclusives so go next to subscribe there's join you that might blue button exists. down there become a member of Popcorn Planet Jody's and Corner both, lots both of us. perks on both channels we got perks in both pla places and I'm sure we should do like a monthly perk you and I or something where we, we let both fans come to the uh, unlisted thing um, so we should figure yeah. that out but uh, yeah stay tuned for that become a member uh, and I will call you out and I'll thank you greatly so thanks for watching everybody I'm going to wrap this up uh, thanks so much I got nothing else to say Jody's Corner my man we will see you uh, not next week but the following week with our shows and uh, plenty week. of content on our channel so stay tuned subscribe bye everybody Woo woo! thanks Jody thanks viewers adios